hello? Oh my god, Twitch chat? Friends? Coven? Hello? Oh my goodness, my headset is even connected. I was like, why can't I hear any of you? Oh my goodness gracious gosh. Dentist, first of all, let's just start off. Let's just start off. Whoa, my bangs. We're gonna start off this stream by saying thank you, Dentist, for gifting me all those goodies. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know what you gifted me. I just put some new things in my, in my um, in my wish list, and they already got bought. <laughs> Dentist, you're wild. Dentista, how's everybody doing? Ah, how's everyone doing? How are you all today? Hello, 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 hello. Can y'all believe it? I'm streaming again. I'm actually being consistent. Incredible. Big vibin'. Big vibin', banana. How's everyone doing? Hello. Let's drop an emote in chat real quick so I know who to say hi to. Let's see some wiggles. Let's see some waves. Some Syrah waves or even some Syrah head pats. We love Syrah head pats. Oh, man. It's going to be so bonkers when I'm finally able to change the colors back to purple. If I even can change them back to purple, I have no clue what's happening with the MSQ. I truly have no idea. This game has got me literally on the edge of my seat. Like we just had the Vitra reveal in um, in Thavnir and I'm glad that seems to be going well. Like he seems to be well received, which is amazing. But oh, on the end of your seat, Kelsey, I'm banning you for that. Hello, Howley. Hello, Ken. And hello, Kelsey. Hello, Bubasaur. Hello, Joker. Dissatisfied. Hello, it's nice to see you. Hello, Griffin. Uh, is it Luixa? Luixa Lap? Hello, hello. Hi, Davey. Nice to see you. Hello, Alec. Hello, Scary Squash. Hello, Polaris. You're proud of me? Thank you. We do stand a consistent... A, 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 we do stand a consistent queen. Thank you, Prosauce. Hello, JC. Hi, Dentist. Hello, game she plays. You went to gymnastics for seven years? Oh, hell yeah. I need to... I need to work on my flexibility. I wish I did gymnastics when I was growing up. But alas, I did not. Alas, I did not. Hello, little bitte. How are you? One of the gifts I got you technically as to your Gengar collection. Oh my god, did you get me the Gengar onesie? Oh, hell yeah. Chat, I'm about to blend in with my background real quick. <sighs> How's everyone today? Is everyone having a good day? I'm having a pretty decent day. I bought some new plants. I bought some new plants, which was really, really fun. There was a new, they're not new, but I found a plant shop up the road for me um, that I had no idea existed. And a little old Asian lady runs it. And all the plants are very cheap. Or I can turn I can turn back on my alerts. I'm tired. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the coming. I'm sure Patrick was in your stay. Um and yeah so i got some new i got a new cheese plant i got a new monstera or the deliciosa monstera or whatever um yeah some new succulents just some new cozy friends to put into my home because i don't know if i told you all this um i got a hot drink from chat time and they're making me drink it through a straw I can't even sip it. Do you know how weird this is? Hello, Ayan. Ayan. Um, shit, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. I got married last week. You got married last week? <gasps> Congratulations, Bubba Soy! Congratulations! Yeah. Oh, yes. No, okay, so... So, so my, my plants, did I tell y'all that my really big plants got infected with mealybugs and I did everything I could to clean them but there was it was like they were too far gone and I was really upset about it so my massive monstera my huge one like this big bigger even I had to throw out my bird of paradise this big bigger this big I had to throw out and then my smaller monstera I had to throw out yeah those are the white tiny bugs that look like cocaine I was very, very, very upset. I was very, very, very upset um, about them getting uh, very sick. Yeah, RIP. Is this not a stream of Mr. Worldwide? I wish. I mean, look, we got Syrah bald. 
We have this. But it's just not the same. It's just not the same. <laughs> um, don't tell my friend Tho a Topaz she'd throw a whole ass funeral for them. Yeah, uh, melee bugs are ridiculous. They're very easy to get rid of, but once they once they're there, sometimes that's it. You know, I've I've cured a few plants that had melee bugs, but these ones, when I when I like open them, open the plants up a little bit, the bugs were like infecting like the the roots, and so sure the new the new um the old leaves are okay now and nothing is infecting them, but on for I'll use my bird of paradise as an example. When a new leaf was coming out, it, they come out like this, right? So it's all wrapped up. But you can kind of see the inside. So I opened it up a little bit. The bugs were already in there. They were already inside the plant. I was very, very, very upset about that. So there was like no point keeping it. It's just going to affect the rest of my my plants, you know? Thought we were going to show the Souls cosplay when you talked about Sire Bald. Oh no, I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. In my new place, though, I really want to put plants all over my home again. I miss having a big enough home to have plants everywhere. So a lot of mine are just small now. Man, yeah. I want to have, like, not not a greenhouse, but I, I really want to go the extra mile when I get my new place in terms of plants. I actually have an apartment filming coming up. Chat. On, fuck, what day is it? Tuesday? Tuesday of next week? On Tuesday, I have someone coming in to do a little apartment tour. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spill the beans just yet. I'm gonna talk to them first and then um, see what else I can share. But yeah, we're gonna have a nice little apartment tour that'll be on, I believe, TikTok and Instagram. Super exciting! So y'all will be able to get a little sneak peek into my home. Um, I'm gonna be decorating it like crazy. I mean, my home is already heavily decorated, but like we're gonna spruce it up, you know? Like I'm replacing my old plants, just tidying everything up, making it look really good. So, very excited for that. I know a lot of people like have asked for little like house tours and office tours, but I've never given one. And this I feel like is close enough. It's, it's, it's just right, you know? Because now it's not me doing it, it's someone else doing it. It's another influencer and their company doing it. I gotta clean my place for Diwali. Oh my god, I'm going to my mom's for Diwali, so thankfully I don't have to worry about anything. I just hope my, my dog doesn't run to any Dias. <laughs> also, Raj, how are you? Upgrades, people, upgrades! Yes! Hype! Woo! Thank you for the for the air horn. <laughs> Hi Beaston, hello, hello. Nikki, hey! What's up? Plant upkeep seems more in-depth than what I thought. Yeah, plant upkeep is honestly no joke. Plants are very easy to take care of, but at the same time, they're very easy to kill. I know a lot of people who say that, like, they can kill- They can't kill many plants, but they can kill succulents, which are supposedly the hardest plants to kill. And I- And it's because, like, people will hear, like, Oh, we have a plant. I have to water it this much da, 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 da. like no 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 sometimes you literally just need to let a plant be dry as fuck just don't water some of them you know how many plushes do you have too many way too many also chat this hot drink is honestly awful give me one second i'm gonna grab the cold one okay I returned. The one plant I killed was a fern. Oh my god, you killed a fern? My mom had she finally threw out her like 30-year-old fern or like almost 40-year-old fern the other day. I was like so sad about it, but also so happy for her. Because that plant, I feel like it needed to die. It was it's a cute plant. Do not get me wrong. It's a great looking plant. 
and it was healthy, but you could tell that it was old. Does that make sense? Waldo plush one? Oh my god. You know, every so often, I wish that instead of doing Syra plant or Syra plants, Syra plushies, we did Waldo plushies. Maybe another day. Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I just got a crazy DM, but they also made a huge error. I'm not Palestinian, I have the flag in my name for support. <laughs> I should probably take that out. Oh my god! I can't, I can't say anything. I'll reply to this later. <laughs> no, it's a good DM. It's a very, very good DM. But they mistook my identity. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right, it's fine. It's a, that's an honest mistake because I have the flag in my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The, the, it has nothing to do with me being Palestinian. They just mentioned it and I was like, oh shit. I have that in my username for support, not because that's what I am. But maybe I should take it out of my username because I am a content creator and I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to confuse anybody. I feel bad now. <laughs> Actually, I'll take it out later. I don't have time for this right now. <sighs> Love your nail color. Thank you, guy. Thank you. It's very Princess Jasmine of me, I will say. I feel like I'm going to... I feel like they shouldn't assume just, be, assume just because you have the flag, though. I know. I know. A lot of people have the flag in their name who aren't Palestinian, but... Put free Palestine in the bio? That's a good idea. I have space. I'll put it in the bio. Mm. Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, where are you from? I'm Persian and Indo-Guyanese. What's Endwalker? Endwalker is the current final expansion. I guess technically the fourth expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. And it is what we will be playing today. Caitlin, thank you for the two month resub. Hello, hello. How you doing? Chat, are we ready? Are we ready to get back into Endwalker? Is it time? Are we starting? Yes! Pro sauce, thank you for the 200 bitties! Are we getting a hype train going? Are we starting a hype train? Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen any gameplay. Have you seen... Do you have, have, do you have any knowledge of Final Fantasy XIV at all? Or is this like going to be your first time experiencing FF14? Did you know uh, the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has an extended free trial all the way up to level 70, which includes the award-winning expansion Heavensward and Stormblood, and there is no restriction on playtime? Did you know that? <laughs> they saw an ethnic girl on the flag and Jim McLeod no, it's okay. Like, I know this person. They know I'm Middle Eastern. It's a fair, it's a fair assumption because the flag is in my name and because I am Middle Eastern. But it's okay. It's, it's it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I just thought it was a little funny. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. First time for me too. Oh my god, a piss! A first time for piss! Come on, ride the train. Yes, ride the hype train. That means you too, Lewis. I got back into Final Fantasy 14, level 82 right now. Level 82 what? Like level 82 MSQ? Or is your class level 82? But also, hello, Impossible. Hype train, guess it's my time to shine. Oh my god, Dentist! 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 Thank you for the 10 gifted subs! I appreciate it! Thank you, thank you, thank you! To everybody that got gifted a sub, welcome to the coven of your badge and and your stay. It's true, I don't remember who it was in the chat that said this, but if you're in my stream, you'll be sub to me against your will. Thank you so much, Dentist! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my god, 
my god, Saposa. Saposa. Samosa Poppy got, got caught in there. We love to see it. <laughs> no non-subs allowed. True. Hey, look, we got, we got big goals to hit, okay? Oh, I gotta sneeze. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Nothing came out. <laughs> Nothing came out. No sneeze. I know. I edged you. I was edged too. I was edged too. Presently here. Thank you for gifting us up as well. Hi, presently. Hello, hello. You can't just edge us like that. I'm sorry. Dommy Mommy's gonna do what Dommy Mommy's gonna do. If I have to get edged, then so do y'all. Don't worry. It'll come back. Uh, what's your, your favorite Persian or Guyanese food? Oh, my favorite Guyanese food. My mom makes a really good um, eggplant choka that I like. Love that shit. Oh, wait, we're on a level three hype train? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. First time in here, perfect time to witness the sneeze pump fake. The sneeze pump fake. Dude, I... This morning, I was doing some cleaning, okay? And I sneezed like 10 times in a row. I literally, I had to go to the grocery store, but I stayed in my home and wrote it out for like five minutes. No, less than five minutes, like two minutes. Because I didn't want to be sneezing up in the grocery store, getting everyone scared and shit. She's choking eggplant? Yes. She chokes eggplant. It seems similar to Baba Ganoush. Yeah, it's it's very similar to Baba Ganoush. Very similar. I would say it's more mm, slimy. <laughs> I feel like that's the only way that I can explain it. Guy is a guy brush. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for your prime on me. Welcome to Kevin for Patrick Wilson's Day. Friendly reminder that if you have Amazon Prime and you link it to your Twitch Prime, you can sub to me for free with your Prime. That means you don't have to pay anything and I get money. That's great. You don't have to give me any of your money, but I'll still get paid. So I just went to speaking pepperies. Pepperies! Mm -hmm. Yo, any primers in the chat? Mm. Milk Eater! Thank you for the prime sub! That's what I like to fucking see. I just like to see. Wait, how do you eat milk? How do you eat milk? You drink milk. Are you eating like, like expired chunky milk? You wait a couple days? I knew it. <laughs> Nasty. Nasty. A girly never tells. A girly never shares her secrets. <sighs> I, yo, okay, but cheese, chew, chee, chew, chee, chee. I just had a fucking stroke. True! Eating cheese, I guess, is eating milk. Armani, hello, hello. Soren! Soren! Flying! Thank you for the 10 gifted! Oh my god, thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! To everyone who gifted a sub, welcome to the coming. I hope you're a badge your boats and your state charter got caught in that! Same with Sid! Z Man, thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. So the real goal is actually to hit a thousand because if we hit a thousand, we unlock new sub sub slots, which is huge. Okay. Do you know how many cute emotes we have? Sub slots, emote slots. Do you know how many cute emotes we have? <laughs> Imagine if we were unlocking sub slots. You're all subs. You're all my subs. What's it like? What's it like? Knowing that this little bean is the dummy mommy to your sub. <gasps> Presently, thank you for the five gifted! Y'all! Thank you so much! I ain't no sub. Kelsey, we know you're a switch, but in this household, against me? Meh, you're still dumb. <laughs> Aren't you our sub? Look, I'm just... I'm just your little meow meow. Okay? I'm not your sub, I'm your little meow meow. Does being a dummy mommy mean you can beat me up? No, but it means I can step on you and then tuck you in at night. I like to tuck you in. 
<laughs> Emasculating in the best way? Yes. Meow meow. Yeah, I'm your meow meow. I'm just a little meow meow. I'm your little Tamagotchi that you get to feed, okay? I'm the Tamagotchi that y'all get to feed and give water and give head pats, okay? So you know, oh, chat, I found uh, more gray hairs. I'm, get, I'm getting, I'm getting old. I'm turning into a silver fox. Thank you for the hydration. I don't have water on me, but I'll drink this. Mm. What was I gonna say? Fuck. Fuck. Oh, so, oh, Ponto, hello. <laughs> yes, you heard correctly. I won't need a wig for Emmett. Hype train and I'm not subbed. Well, I guess I gotta. Uh, yeah. Logic guy. Hello. How you doing? I see you all the time on my Twitter now, bro. Thank you for the four months resub. Nice. <laughs> oh. So you know how we have my PNG tuber, right? We all know Pepper Tube. We all know Pepper Tube. Let me see if I can bust her out real quick. Let me see if I can just bust her out really quickly. Where, where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay, she's a little laggy because I have a lot of things running right now. But we all know Pepper too, right? We all know Miss Little Baby Pepper. So, what if, what if one of our goals for next year is to turn Baby Pepper into an actual like VTuber? I feel like that wouldn't be such a bad idea. We love baby Pepper. We love Pepper. Th she's our emotes. All of our emotes are this little, little doohickey. Would she have anime titties? Yes. What I want, what, what I want is an ability to like have her like be normal, like in her sweater and then boop, her boobs just inflate. I want to see baby Pepper on her back. Ken? Ken, what do you mean by that? Ken, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> boobs on her back? <laughs> you want her boobs on her back? <laughs> they were too high <laughs> They better have been back boobs. Oh my god, could you imagine? It's like, yeah, you want to see my tits? Boom. <laughs> That comment made me an atheist. That comment made me believe in God. Dentist! Dentist needs a competitor, chat. Dentist needs a f Wait, did we just hit 600? Chat. Thank you so much, Dentist, for the 10 gifted subs. How many have you gifted so far? 20? Bro, you're... <laughs> Thank you, Dentist, so much to everybody that's gotten gifted a sub tonight. Welcome to the coven. I hope it's your badge, your remotes, and your stay. We're officially at 601 subs! We're at 601 subs! <coughs> Fuck yeah! Let's fucking go! Okay, our next goal is gonna be 666. Can we hit it? Can we hit 666 today? Nice. You like that? You like that burp? <laughs> Back boobs or are they droopy? She just slings them over her shoulders. Oh my God. Wait, that would be even better. That would be so much better. <laughs> That'd be so much better. You think that she just has insane like shoulder pads, but it's like, no, those are my boobies. Would you still want to do the puppet VTuber idea or keep the 2D anime style? Um, I don't know. better if I said it made me a Christian. If you want anime titties, see God. Here is six months as penance. <laughs> seven months, actually. Thank you for the seven month Reese of Cosmos. Presently, thank you for the 69 bits. But can we hit 669? We'll, we'll see about that. I sure fucking hope so. <laughs> yes, I was doing. I am recovering from motorcycle accident. Oh my God, Caitlin. First of all, badass. Second of all, are you okay? Pe Pepper needs a Muppet. 
Okay, what if we had like VTuber Pepper and then like Muppet Pepper? How about that? How about that chat? Yesterday I was asking you about League of Legends. Have you played it? No. <laughs> I'm not a League girly pop. I do not play League. I would love to try playing League, but I feel like I would lose my fucking life to it. And I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of commitment. You know what I mean? One sec. Did you watch Arcane? I didn't. I tried getting... Okay, so I tried getting into Arcane when it first dropped. I tried getting into Arcane when it first dropped and it did nothing for me. Like it did absolutely nothing. I I like the art style, but I just couldn't really get into it, honestly. There's no game I hate more than League 10K hours, by the way. Hello, Fancy. I feel like everybody says that. See, and that's my thing. I, I used to play Overwatch and the community completely turned me off by it. Like, I love the game itself. I think the game is a ton of fun, but the community and the company behind Overwatch, I just like, I just couldn't, I didn't enjoy it anymore. I honestly just didn't enjoy it anymore. I don't want to get into a game where everyone is just unhappy and miserable. You know, that's why I play Final Fantasy. Everyone is horny and happy, okay? <laughs> Oh my god, the level 5 hype train is at one minute. It's at uno minute. Can we, can we hit that? Can we hit that chat? Which character did you play the most in Overwatch? Um, Ana. I was a huge Ana main. I played, originally I played Junkrat, and then I moved on to playing Tank, and I played Reinhardt and Zarya, and some D.Va. I loved playing Reinhardt and Zarya, oh my fucking god. Um, but then I was kind of forced onto support before 222 was implemented. And a lot of games, people would hear my voice and they'd just toss me onto Mercy or something. And it kind of sucked. Uh, but then I got really good at Ana. And I got to 3.3 .3 as Ana. And then I never played again. <laughs> I started playing Final Fantasy again. You've sucked me in once again. Okay, but which Final Fantasy? That's, that's the key question here. People are horny in League of Legends too, but not happy. It's a bad combination. See, that's exactly it, Bitfrost. That's exactly it. I don't want to play a game where people are miserable. I love, like, okay, as a streamer, you know, I love the community aspect with video games. You know, building a community, playing with the community, all of that kind of stuff, right? So I want everyone to be having a good time. I love P, like, I'm a PMA bitch, you know? It's okay to be miserable sometimes, but don't, like, lash out on other people and i find with 14 like i don't i mean i don't do any like hardcore rating or anything like that at least like right now so maybe I, I just don't i don't see some of it but everyone is just peachy everyone is happy and having a good time i've never had a bad experience in the two years i've been playing this game you know i'm a brb to pee real quick how dare you how dare you fucking abandon me to pee Finding a shitty person in Final Fantasy XIV is like finding a shiny Pokemon, but rarer. Yes, actually. Final Fantasy XIV really just is happy and horny and eager to make other people happy and horny. Yes. And see, okay, that's exactly it too, Davey. That's exactly, I think like, I think that's exactly what it is about XIV that I love. Everyone loves new players. We love new players. And... If you don't know what you're doing, we are more than happy to help you and guide you. You know? In other games, if you're new, oh my god, you get fucking flamed. You get roasted. It's like, how do you expect these people to fucking learn? You know? Give, like, maybe, like, give some tips if you can. Even if it's, like, really quick over mic, you know? Like... Try to build synergy with your teammates instead of expecting like one person or you to carry, right? Like, I don't know. We love encouraging everyone to get the emotional trauma of Shadowbringers and Endwalker. <laughs> true, actually true. Actually fucking true. I've been playing on Materia, Oceania. Is it 
Oh, she, how do you, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I know it's like Australia and New Zealand and shit. Um, but anyways, let me go back to what you're saying. Um, shit, I lost your spot. And everything has to be done in Party Finder because it's quiet. And I see the same people every day just helping Sprouts with their trials and dungeons. Oh, that's very sweet. When I'm in, when I'm bored, sometimes I just lure in Gridani and help Sprouts get around. Honestly, that sounds like the way to go. I just like talking to people. I'll be in like Foundation or Gridani and I'm just like chit-chatting with people. I remember one time um, I was in Gridania and I used to be in Gridania a ton. Um, I, like when I was playing every day, doing my dailies, whatever the fuck. You'd always catch me. You'd always catch me in Gridania. And I always have, ever since I got it, I've been running around with my Orshifon minion. Okay? And one time I didn't have him. And literally two people were like, yo, where's Orshifon? Where'd he go? And I was like, oh my god, I don't even know who y'all are, but y'all clocked that? It was so funny. It was so funny to me that these two random people recognized me and also recognized that I didn't have Orshifa on me for the first time in like forever. So funny. Time to get tucked in. Good night, guy brush. Hello, George. What's up? Hello. <laughs> Please join our trauma cult. Oceana. 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 Oi, what's she on? What's she on about? Hello, Arbzy. I stayed in a dungeon until a timer almost ran out to help us spread those fighting for her life and everyone was nice. I love that. I was in one dungeon that wasn't really, wasn't really kind. Um, our tank was new. No, was it our tank? No, I think our, our healer was new. And the tank kept just running ahead. And the tank also, and can you believe it? I wasn't playing tank. Um, and they, um, they were also wearing, like, really low-level gear, too. Um, and so they're, like, running ahead, and me and my friend were like, Yo, wait for the other person! And then they just kept, like, flaming us. And we were like, alright. That was, like, my, I think my one of two only bad experiences with <laughs> FF14. But it didn't, like, directly affect me. I'm like, one quest in the Heavens War, but I got my Dark Knight to 50 at least? Fuck yeah, Soren. Dark Knight, best class. Oh, yeah, sorry. AKA that one motherfucker always in Gridania. <laughs> Boba, yes. Take my fucking kisses. Hello, David. Thank you. Not the main character syndrome tank. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What kind of Boba? This is the salted caramel milk tea with less ice, extra sugar. Extra sugar and sea salt crema. Sea salt crema. Oh, man. I have no idea what to anticipate today in Endwalker. Um, so the story so far, basically, the final days are here. They're upon us. And Vitra, we were helping Thavner. We did pretty much as much as we could. We got rid of the blasphemy. Which was the dungeon that we just did, Van Vanaspati, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and, um, and a lot of children died or almost died, and that was a lot. Um, the Satrap also died, and now Vitra is revealing himself as like the true Satrap of Thavnir. <laughs> And it's going swimmingly. But we are now also trying to figure out what is like causing this, like what the root of of these of the monsters are, because there's no ether in them. Like they just vanish. Like they're like if you turn, you just go poof. It's very different from the final days of Amarot, so of what or what we saw in Amarot. So yeah. Nidhana it, Nidhana said it has something to do with Aksha. Or Asha, Asha? 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 Aksha? I don't remember how it's pronounced. I think Aksha. Um, 
which was like the other kind of ether, which is like, or energy, which is controlled by Ak Akasha, 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 um, which is controlled by your emotions, um, which is why, because of their like, because if you're if you're scared, if you're if you're angry, if you're distraught, like then you'll transform into these monsters. So all of these like super negative energies is what's like transforming um, the people of Thavner. Girl, why is my neighbor trying to fucking FaceTime me? Miss DJ? Miss DJ, do we say hello? Miss DJ, I'm working. Say hi. Oh! She looks so- you look so hot! I show chat. You look so hot. That Yay, skirt is amazing. <laughs> you look amazing! You look so hot! Where are you going? Saluna! Slay, mama. Slay. Slay. Pop off. Well, oh, oh, oh! Shake that ass. Yes! Shake the little white ass. I gotta go. I'm working. I love you so Bye. much. Bye! <laughs> I love her. She's in a cute tiny skirt and like a little stripped shirt or um ripped shirt. I love her. I love Lisa. We love Lisa. We love Lisa. <laughs> um But yeah, and then Nidhana was like, hey yo, pull out your flower. Pepper went through her ass, pulled out the Elpis flower, and it fucking just got destroyed. It disintegrated. I still don't understand what the whole shtick with the Elpis flower is. Like I think Heidelin said that, like, the flower, like, will change its color based off of my emotion. And I'm going to be the light. Like, I'm going to be everyone's light or whatever the fuck. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. <coughs> oh, my God. What any of this means. Rhea, hello. Hello, Carmine Viking. Are we in just chatting? We're in just chatting, but we're about to swap over to the game. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, I put it back in my butt and it died. You're correct. Yes. Fart power, man. <laughs> James, hello, hello. Yeah, bad vibes get you killed, actually. Actually. Highland did say basically the flower reflects the vibes. Yeah, the flower is the vibe check. And the flower said nah, and then it died. Yes! Oh my god, should we watch the end cutscenes now, chat? Is now a good time to watch the end cutscenes? Swamp ass is real? Yes, especially if you're Pepper. She got that dank booty. <laughs> I need to put your questions up to professional phasmophobia player. Oh, oh, Kieran's giving me money. Yo, I'm rich. Wait, here, let me give you some weed. Wait, where's my weed? Here, here, four, 20. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> the help us lover for real so these vibes are rancid actually though thank you for the shmoneys thank you for the shmoneys i appreciate it and thank you trist and leo for looking dramatic as fuck beside me <laughs> p smiley hello p how are you pp pee -pee? okay all right let's go to an inn is there one in rods at ha okay very cool can i attune to this now is it a, oh, is it a tunable now? No? Can I attune? I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave here if I can't attune because I'm gonna have to run all the way back. I can attune, now I can? Okay, let's go. Are y'all gonna come with me? Are y'all gonna come on this venture with me? I'm gonna run. One more quest than I can? MSQ will already tell you when the ether is attainable. Okay. Never mind! Get back here! Never mind! <laughs> False alarm! <laughs> Thank you for attuning. We're attuning to the papussy. Hello, Jubilee. Hello, hello. All right. Well, let's speak to Radiant Host Soldier at World's End. The Radiant Host Soldier has a message from the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Um, all right. Real quick, chat. How's the audio? Is it just as good as... Is it as good as it was yesterday? <laughs> if 
I may ask why you play with the remote, um, I have arthritis and carpal tunnel and I find playing with the controller to be a lot more comfortable and relaxing for my arms and my fingers and my wrists. Um, on top of that, I am used to playing RPGs with the controller because I am primarily a console gamer. Um, Final Fantasy XIV plays a ton like Dragon Age, which is my primary game. It's my favorite game in the entire world. Um, so transitioning from Inquisition to 14 was very seamless because it literally, and I'm not kidding, plays exactly the same. So, yeah. Yeah. This feels easier. Oh, all right, cool. We ready? Chat, are we ready? Let's get some head nods. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, Kim! It's a wild Kim. It's a wild Kim. I was thinking of playing with remote as well. You should do it. Honestly, it feels really nice. One thing that I love about this game, especially because I'm playing MSQ. Fuck my ears. Is I get to like kick back and play like this. Do you know what I mean? I'm not like this. You know, I get to like actually lay back, enjoy the story, and like, it's just very comfy. I'm glad you said that because now I understand why I like FF14 with the controller. See, I knew you'd fucking get it. Of all people, I knew you'd get it. You also need an MMO mouse if you plan to play on mouse and keyboard. Honestly? Yeah, I don't have enough buttons for this game. <laughs> the trial comes out of nowhere and you're at the edge of your seat. Honestly, hello Azem14. Honestly, I'm okay. I'm like I'm okay with like my level 90 abilities with this. Like I'm I'm cool with it. I'm good. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah? Let me see those nods. I'm not going to interrupt my own progression now. Let me see those nods. Are we ready? Are we good to go? Nice. Dude, the, our Nodder's emote is so goddamn fucking cute. I actually, I love it. I love it so much. I love that the ears wiggle. And then she's like, mm. <laughs> Just, mm. <laughs> All right, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's, uh, let's get into this. At world's end, the Radiant Host soldier has a message for the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Greetings, honored Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have a message from His Excellency. Ex I have a message from His Excellency, the Satrap. I gotta. I can't read unless I like do this. Brave Scions, you have my gratitude for aiding my people in this most trying of times. Alas, matters here at Megaduta. It's pronounced Megaduta, right? Megaduta prevent me from meeting you all in person. As a token of mine appreciation, I've arranged for a feast to be held in your honor. May it nourish you in preparation for the trials ahead. Man, I remember the last time we had a feast. It was the fucking red wedding in this shit. Such are the words of Master Vitra. The feast he speaks of awaits you at Mirides Mahain. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Pray make your way there whenever your business here is done. We thank you for your kindness. Indeed, I was hoping we might find a place to discuss our next course of action. And that seems an ideal venue. Ah, and to you, Peppermint. There's someone we had hoped to introduce you to in particular. Is it someone for me to simp for? Well, I am loath to detain you further. Might I? Might you spare a moment of your time? A personal invitation? Knowing full well your services are in the highest demand right now. This must be important. We're not. We'll save some food for you, so take all the time you need. Thank you, baby girl. Appreciate that. Oh. Well, there they all fucking go. Thank you, friend. Whenever you're ready, please join me in the Aetherite Plaza. I should go on ahead. <gasps> now can I attune? <laughs> All right, it's a good thing we didn't go there because we'd have to just fucking run back anyways. All right, we going? Let's go. Let's go. We ride at dawn. <laughs> oh, do you think they're gonna like, we're gonna eat curry? Oh, a vindaloo? Oh, mm -hmm. Roti? Oh, mm. Go a little Caribbean and have some dosas? Mm. <laughs> Hello, Baron. How are you? Girl, I'm hungry. Sorry. I won't talk about yummy food then. <laughs> you 
You're good at reading? Thank you, George. I do my best. Hello, Grits. Hello, hello. Oh, wait, is there a wild Nixie in here? Nixie, hello! Access to etherite you see there has been restricted to select to a select few ever since the tower first appeared. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience, but it was deemed too dangerous to permit the free movement of visitors at a time of emergency, a risk we could not take. That is fair. In light of recent developments, however, the satrap has decided that such restrictions would only hinder our efforts to combat the final days. As such, I would encourage you to attune with the etherite before proceeding along the corridor. Yes! Oh my god, chat! Amazing! Incredible! I can fucking attune! Alright, chat, you ready? Are you ready to attune with me? We're attuning. We're attuning. We're attuning. Amazing. Good stuff. Good fucking stuff. <laughs> El gasp, I know. Amazing. Amazing. Hype it up. Fucking hype it up, baby. <laughs> mm. Okay. Sick. Alright, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? <gasps> oh my god! Starfire? Wait, Starfire? Starfire! Fire, Starfire! Starfire! Wait, no, come back! Come back! Come back! Starfire, wait! 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 Yo, I can be your Robin, baby. I can I can be your Robin. I may not be I may not be um hot or a sidekick of um Batman, but I can Oh, right in the tits. Right through the tits. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you attune precisely when you mean to. Wise words from Gandalf. <laughs> mm. Is Starfire someone from chat? Is Starfire someone from chat? <gasps> Babuji! Hello, hello. hello, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you. Is it okay to post switch clips in this here chat room? I had to clip the noise. It was too funny. Send it to one of the mods and they can post it. The minion is like the little grubby worm guy from Teen Titans. Yo, <gasps> lemon muffin. Yo, the RP goes crazy. Here, I got some. I got some Swede for you. I think she did a random RP. -er. That's okay. She's cute. She's cute as shit. You look so cute. I'm sorry I can't be your Robin, but you be Robin, my heart. Uh -huh. Send her a tell later in Balmung! <laughs> Yo, I got the Riz, bro. Teen Titans Riz. <laughs> She laughed at me. She laughed at me. I got that Cartoon Network wrist. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for casting a spell on me. Oh. Oh. So what do you? So what do you say? So what do you say? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Riz recovery? <laughs> um, um, do you think if I showed her my really cool, my really cool victory reveal, she'll, she'll be in love? She said, yes, most wonderful. Slay, I won. I won. Victory is mine. Seize the day. <laughs> Hip. Hip, cheerio now. Okay, I'm running away. I'm so embarrassed. I, I I rizzed her and I have to run. I rizzed her up, but at what cost? <laughs> ah, my controller, please have me run in the straight line. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, walk in a straight line, member. Oh my God, wait, let me see this. She's just like me for real. Is that what I 
sound like? <laughs> the song? <laughs> oh my god yeah that's gonna that's definitely gonna be a new a new alert holy fuck oh my god i can't breathe wow wow that was good Thank you, Nixie. I'm, I feel like a dubstep mix isn't the worst. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Oh my god. That is the sound you make when you risk too hard. You're right. And to think. To think I won. To think I got the girl and I ran away. I'm a coward. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, let's speak with the Radiant host. They're really hot, by the way. Like, holy. Ah, you must be wondering what this place is. Oh my god, it looks like they're caressing Pepper's hair. Oh my god, they were like, you must be wondering what this place is. <laughs> you stand in the hall of the Radiant host, from where our leadership oversees all of Razat Han's military operations. Sundrop, our destination, lies just ahead. Sundrop? I'm just saying, chat. I'm just saying. Wood. Absolutely wood. Doman. Ishgardian. Laminson. Gradonian. Uldan. Alamegan. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. And so it begins. And so it begins. Are we all gonna just take a seat? Oh, chit chatting with the Gridanian? I see. Brave, thank you for the 19 month resub. You know what time it is? Time to throw it together, reset up TED Talk to tell you how amazing you are and how unbeatable Gundam Seed Forever will be. Fuck yeah. Thank you for 19 whole months as the lockest to all of our Kiras. Ah! You know what? I would rather be the Kigali to all your Kiras, but I'll absolutely take it. Wait, the Kigali to your Atherans. Chef, what would you think for the hydration? Thank you. Hello, Matt and Cheese. Mmm. Okay, let's talk. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. Oh, it's a cutscene. <laughs> Almost Luke and Leia. So that one I know. The second I said that, I was like, wait, no, incest, no. <laughs> Hello, Nabu. What's up? There's a Nodder's moment. There's a fucking Nodder's moment in here. Welcome to Sundrop. Without further ado, allow me to introduce you to. Oh, so you're the famous Peppermint, eh? I knew at the moment you stepped through the door. You've the look of one who's walked through hell. Are you calling me ugly? Sure, but please. You were speaking to Satrap's honored guest and a savior of our people. Can you not show a modicum of respect? Show come? He said come. What disrespect is there in paying a fellow warrior a compliment? We're all friends here, or we'll be soon enough. 
More formally, then, for the benefit of my countrymen, it is a pleasure to have you with us. Oh, great champion of Eorzea, scion of the Seventh Dawn, warrior of life, an all-round good egg, I'm sure. She calls me an egg! She calls me an egg! I'm an egg! <laughs> She's kind of... What is this place? Who are you? This talk of eggs reminds me I'm late for dinner. <laughs> This talk of eggs reminds me of being on the menu. A woman after my own heart. I like that. Oh! Yes! I'm in! Shirabot wants me. Oh my god, she wants me. Yo, I'm on a roll. The Rizzler! The Pepper Rizzler! Don't you worry. I'll keep it short. There's this thing or two we'd like you to remember. First of all, about the room you're standing in now. Razadhan welcomes delegates from other lands to oversee trade and diplomatic dealings. Then, there are the military matters to discuss, which is why all these officers are stationed here in Sundrop. I imagine you're more than familiar with each of the nations they represent, yes? We've got representatives from Doma. Hello. Uldan, our amigo. Sup. Limsa Liminsa. Yo! <laughs> Gridania. And last, but never let it be, said least. Ah Ishgard! They're the eyes, ears, and mouths that bridge the distance between Razadhan and their represented respective homelands. Hello. Hello! My second home! We've used this brief respite to show the details of our plight with our overseas counterparts. And wouldn't you know it, all of the leaders requested a few words from you specifically. You're a woman in high demand, eh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Me. <laughs> and so, would you mind regaling us with your own account? Indulge us before you indulge yourself. <laughs> Bro. She wants me. She wants me. I thank you for the report. The conditions under which men are turned to beasts and etheric anomalies you have observed. You have given us much to consider. It is concerning that the first transformation apparently occurred before the skies turned red, which is contrary to what one would expect. Thankfully, the information you conveyed to Lucia upon your return from the moon has already proved invaluable. As soon as reports of the calamity here in Davna reached the Grand Company of Eorzea and our Far Eastern allies, our leaders knew at once that the final days were indeed upon us. They said the thing. They began taking the steps to assess the extent of the phenomenon's spread. Our agents were able to confirm that, for the time being, the skies burned only over the bounty, including this island and Kovos. No! Grahati is home! Alas, that is of little comfort. Aye, all through our allied lands there have been reports of people transforming into hideous beasts. <laughs> From what little we have learned, these incidents are similar in nature to the, that to that involving the merchant Kalzal, and was the well, <laughs> and was the case here. The victims are the ones that change prior to the heavens being set ablaze. And so, while the burning skies have yet to manifest beyond the bounty, the transformations do not appear to be subject to any similar restriction. If anyone anywhere overcome by despair can turn, then nowhere is safe. That's about the size of it. Speaking of which, we ought to give these creatures a name, don't you think? Here in Razadhan, we've taken to calling the first change, which tend to be the biggest, blasphemies. I like that name. Honestly, I fuck with the name blasphemy. As fitting a name as any, to ensure calamity in future communications, we shall urge our comrades to adopt this terminology. Our leaders have taken measures to deal with the threat to the best of our abilities. Aye, each nation has assembled their own groups of elite soldiers to put down these so-called blasphemies and the spawn as, and when they appear. At the same time, they are doing all in their power to put the people's minds at ease and prevent panic and fear from spreading. That said, brave souls with the strength and fortitude to fell these terrible fiends are not easily found. Just so, and it is t it is that <clears throat> just so, and it is for that very reason that we turn to you. Pray lend us your strength and help us to slay the blasphemies that plague our homelands. 
But why you gotta think about it? Now, now, you don't have to give your reply before dinner. I should also mention that each blasphemy seems to possess wildly different characteristics. What works well against one may serve poorly against another. So before you go rushing up to save everyone's day, have a word with the delegates. They'll tell you what to expect. And with that, I do believe our friend here has a feast to attend. Spare thought for us while you're tucking into all that fine cuisine, eh? You've gained access to the Royal Quest for Endwalker! Okay! Okay, okay! A separate quest line and story is now available for tank, melee DPS, physical range DPS, magical range DPS, and the healer roles. Nice! To undertake these quests, be with any of the delegates in Sundrop and agree to help the blossomies that plague their respective homelands. Ooh! Ooh, I'm excited! You do have a very good British voice. Thank you, George. Thank you. I appreciate that. The polarity of Pepper being from Thapner, which is warm, and her second home being a cold climate. I know. I love it. I love it. I love the difference there. All right. Wow. One, two, three. Which one are you? Oh. The Gridanian delegate is in urgent need for a stout defender to help combat a new threat to his homeland. Oh, my God. It's... What's her name? Kinesia. Mana Samana. Summona, summona, mamona. Oh, which one is it for Ishgard? <gasps> magical range DPS? Interesting. Interesting. I hate magical range DPS. Ah! Kane Asana. Oh, yeah. Kane Asana. Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> Good night, Sevs. Good night, Sevs. First in cutscenes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, let me wrap up this quest line and then we'll do the in quest scenes. In quest scenes? <laughs> in cut scenes. Pray for give um, Shirabot for her rudeness. She can be a bit boisterous at times, but it's simply her nature. Anyway, my apologies for keeping you from your heart and rest. We'll be rejoining our companions, yes? Do you know the way to the Mayhain? <laughs> I know Rots and Han like the back of my hand because I'm from here! I'm glad to hear you're becoming familiar with our fair city. You'll be pleased to hear that all drinks are on the house. Slaves to order whatever suits your fancy. Yo, Pepper about to get fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> and with that, I must return to my post. On behalf of all the Radiant Host, I thank you and your friends once more for lending your strength and courage to Raza Han in our time of need. We shall endeavor to fight the good fight to the end, that we might honor Ahawan's legacy and, to s and serve Master Vitra well. You have my word that your efforts will not be in vain. All right, food time! I want some motherfucking food. Uh, did I attune there? I haven't attuned to a lot of these, I think. Had drinks in the house, I'm home. Literally, slay. Um, thank God. Thank God I can TP here. <laughs> Kanye Asada, carne asada, carne asada! Oh, I'm hungry now. Oh, I'm fucking hungry. I have food, but now I want Popeyes. <laughs> Let me talk to my babies. Oh, kebab. <gasps> oh my God. What? What is, is that doll? Doll, some sort of tomato, tomato curry and roti? Bro, bro, we're eating good. How was he meeting with the Radiant? I would love to hear more. Oh my god, Leo, I thought you were an NPC. <laughs> Good, you could join us. Meal over there will be happy to take your order. The threat here has been quelled, but our job's only just begun. I'm overdue for a good meal. Why is Alfie not sitting alone over there? Forgive me for not wanting, waiting to make a toast. My throat was utterly parched. Oh, hungry boy. I know I must re eat to regain my strength, but between you and me, I don't have much of an appetite. Oh, my little princess, my little baby poopy spooky. What if I just like, what if I just like let you nibble on some crackers? Hmm? You're, you're white. Y'all like crackers, right? Just give you some crackers and cheese. Maybe some bread and butter. All right. <gasps> ah my boy! My boy! What a pleasant surprise! What's me boy? Oh, hello! It's nice to see you! Oh, look! The 
way that he has to get on his knees to hug Pepper is just too good. It is just too fucking good. I hope you are well, good friend. I hope you are well. Oh, I got head pats. I got head pats. <laughs> oh, you know what's so sad? Pepper never got to take Orshifant to see her home. Isn't that sad? Orshavon brought her in to Ishgard, made her basically family with the four tomps, and she never got to do the same. He never got to meet her family. Oh, full glad that I am to see your homeland, Pepper. Ah Not this man listening to me on stream and I'm fucking... Nah, you're mean. This Orshavon role player is cruel. I bet Orshavon heard there was some bullshit afoot in Thavner, hopped in a rowboat and hauled ass here himself. He would, he would, he fucking would. Oh no, I have to make sure that my cat girl is okay. You know? <laughs> Do you? Uh, but if anything, I hope to make you smile once we meet in Kupocon. <gasps> Wait! Oh my god. Oh my god. Orshvan's gonna be at Kupocon? What? Where's my shocked? What? <laughs> yo. Hold on. I yo, hold on. I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know. I don't. For, yeah, fourth wall break, but that's gonna make it so much better. Because now I'll be able to put a face to the character and I'll be able to heckle you. <laughs> Shocked Animal Crossing babbling. Oh my god. Is that how I should speak at KoopaCon? Just. You deserve more from me from one broken shield in a world full of troubles, Pepper. Nah, nah, that was cold. That was fucking cold, Orshifant. That was cold. Do you see this shit, chat? Do you see this shit? Homie trying to get the cry counter up. Homie trying to get the cry counter up. Why do you say these things to me in front of all my cats? Dost thou wish for me to to shed to shed tears? <laughs> Talk like a sim and act like you spoke perfectly normal. Exactly. It is simlish, but like it's like no, it's not even simlish. It's animalese, but like pepperfied. I've noticed that I started. I've now started every like sentence with skibidi bop bop. Skibidi bop 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 bop. You are the most beautiful when expressing your feelings, Pepper. Yo, Pepper's gotta go to the school of Riz. Like, whatever, like, school Orshifan is in, she's gotta go there. That Riz school? Riz classes? Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Simp! <laughs> Skibbity Pepper. Skibbity beep beep beep. Orshifan, are you gonna accompany us? Are you gonna... Are you gonna break non with me? But you have a feast to attend, do you not? I do. Would you like to accompany us? What if I fed you some some butter chicken? Would you like that? It might, it's a little messy. You might get some on your face, but like, I can just lick it off. It's all right. Like, don't worry about it. Cats love cream. <laughs> I'll point and shout simp when we meet him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this our our peer's gender is. So them, we'll just say when we meet this our peer. Mm. This could be anyone, right? I have an Orshvan character, and I'm a lady. I just joined. I need contacts. Cats like cream. I also believe you have more than enough company. No, never enough. The, aud the audacity. <laughs> Wait, what are you giving me? 
Don't. Don't. Do not. Do not. I'm I'm vulnerable. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank oh. Oh, please be the chai and a hot chocolate. Oh! Man, the cold season is approaching. The cold season is approaching, which means I'm going to be drinking a lot of hot chocolate, which means I'm going to be miserable. Anytime I drink hot chalky, I literally, like, I get, I get a little, like, emotional because I think, hmm, I wonder what Orchman's hot chocolate tastes like. You know? <laughs> Night spread hot chocolate and pumpkin, po po as a potage? Potage? I don't know, but that's perfect for me because I eat that. Pepper, eat that shit. Hold on. Um, Orshi, I have something for you too. Um, I have a lot of weed and um, I think you would benefit from some of it. Um, and maybe a little, a little poop. <laughs> I hope you can share a couple with me proper. We absolutely have to. Uh, I have an idea of, oh, <laughs> and a flower. I gave him my poop and he gives me a flower. I give him a dingleberry. And I get a flower, shrub for shrub, plant for plant. Um, but I want to take some of y'all to Balzac's. Let me, let me explain. Balzac's is a coffee shop or a coffee chain in Ontario, uh, Southern Ontario. Um, very popular in Toronto. Well, I don't say it's very popular in Toronto, but it's, there's a few locations in Toronto. It's one of my favorite uh, cafes in the city. I love it a lot. Their drinks are very, very good. And I would love to take some of y'all there for some coffee. And then we can go for like a little walk. Is it the ho that hobbity looking one? Hobbity looking one? Balzac's is like, it's very like indie in English. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we can go get some hot chocolate. I think it would be fun if like the coven went to get some hot chalky. Also, Orshman, I don't know if you like want to expose yourself at all, but um, we have, and this is to anyone in chat, we have a a little private Discord server for the Coven, um, for all Coven members who are going to KoopaCon. That way, we can meet up and we can do like we can organize like little meetups and stuff. So, if you are attending KoopaCon. Um, I would say give Kelsey a ping in the Discord server and she can send you a link to, uh, to the server. What about the party outside? What party outside? Hello, Kai! Hello! I am enjoying Endwalker. What get what get together are you talking about? Also, Kelsey, are you on right now? Let me actually let me send you a DM. Oh, the thing Vicky is hosting. I'm not even gonna talk about that because I don't even have details for it yet. I have no details for it yet, apart from I'm hosting a hosting a party which is fun which is great but like i'm not gonna say anything until like I, I can actually like you know all right give me one second chat i just have to message kelsey Second chat. Chat, if you're still here, let me see. Let me see a little head nod. Give me a little head nod. That way I know y'all are ready for us to continue in literally just like one minute. I just gotta do something very, very quickly. Hmm. All right, we good? We good, chat? We good, we good, we good, we good, we good? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 
Okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay. I'm excited for this feast. I'm excited to see the food. Like, I know that probably sounds a little silly, but like, I genuinely am excited to see the food in this game. I don't know what they're gonna feed us, but I want more like eating emotes too in this game. I feel like I don't really have that many. I wish I had the pizza one or the KFC one. Which ones do I have? I think I have the eat bread. I think I only have, I have, I have eat bread. I have eat apple. I have eat pumpkin cookie, eat rice ball, and eat egg and eat chocolate and drink tea. I want more. Ah, oh, slay. Mmm, <laughs> web. We got bread babes. Okay. All right, let's have this feast. Let me give my man one last kiss. Right on the right on the peeper. A kiss on the peeper from Pepper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's speak with Mahil. Welcome. When the satrap asked us to entertain a party of honored guests, I was wondering who it might be. This is a lovely surprise, to say the least. By the way, I heard all about Kozal from your friend Grahatia. I understand there was nothing that could be done, but I was heartened to hear he meant us no harm. I cannot thank you enough for dispatching the beast. As the smallest token of our thanks, your food and drink tonight are Maraid's treat. Speaking of which, what shall I start you off with? A piping hot mug of chai, please. A glass of your finest local spirits. Water. Just water. Is Pepper getting drunk? Or is Pepper being... Cultured. <laughs> what should Pepper drink? I feel like I, I I would pick the chai, but I feel like Pepper should get a little bit turned. But now they're offering me chai. You know what? No. Pepper drinks enough chai. Pepper deserves a treat. Pepper deserves to get a little fucked up. Okay. I think with all the ash in the air, I just want water. I feel like Pepper, well, Pepper is very thirsty or Chiffon is right there. So, I mean, like he's just, he's right, he's right there, you know? Shots with the scions. You think Thanker will get fucked up with me? Will Thanker let loose with me? <laughs> all right, let's do it. A glass of your finest local spirits. As you wish, page one of your friends and I'll bring you your drink. Yay! All right, hello, mommy. Welcome back. Whatever did the Radiant want with you, pray tell? Our allies have sent military delegates. That's news to me. Mind sharing the details? <gasps> it's a cutscene. It's a cutscene, babes. So blasphemy is now plague all the realm. Yeah. It will only get worse if what Father said is true, as it did in Amarot. Mm. If that's our model, then shouldn't we expect the effects to grow more severe as it feeds off its own spread? As if people transforming into those monstrosities wasn't bad enough. If the flora and fauna, if the land itself turned against us, no one would survive. Mm. Yo, we got the lime wedge too. Here's your order, friend. Oh, that's what she sounds like. My bad. <laughs> Interesting. May you find comfort in these dark times. Yo, me and Grahatia getting fucking tart! My wife is drinking with me! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Where do we go from here? If there's one thing we've learned, fighting blindly and simply reacting to what comes will accomplish nothing. We must find a solution that addresses the fundamental cause. 
before our strength is exhausted, before this crisis spirals out of control. Is there something, anything we've overlooked? If there is an answer, Hydaelyn herself will have it. Twas she who bound Zodiac and forestalled the final days. Alas, we have heard naught from her since the Tower of Babel. Whether she cannot or will not speak, I can only speculate. Guess you could say she's not babbling anymore. Even the flower she gave us is no more. <laughs> In our time, we called it Elpis. You would do well to remember the name. Elpis! So advised the Watcher. But what could be the significance of that name? It is entirely unfamiliar to me. Piss. Oh, this music? It meant something to the ancients, though, in our time. Most surely, yet I do not recall a single mention of it in the records of Anida. Another dead end, and quite literally. It's not as if there are any ancients living we could go and ask. Not alive as such, but not quite dead. What's my wife thinking? What's the Lidibus? I see it right also. Back on the first. Wait! Contained within that reservoir of ether that maintains it. Ether that is returned little am by I, little. Am I am I gonna go speak with Elder Bussy? What may remain of his soul? Oh my god, are we returning to the first? However, if Or am I returning? Because they can't go, but I can, right? Oh my god, wait. I, no, we can no longer make that journey, ah! but you, my friend, still ah! can. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna fucking piss. I'm gonna L piss. I'm gonna L piss. <sighs> okay, it's worth a try. It would be an opportunity to look in on the others as well. If there is truly no other way, an opportunity to look in on the others? To look in on the others? Like, check in on the first? Like, on Reen and Gaia? Is that what... Is that what she means? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one anyways. My children. My other children. My picnies. Thank you, my friend. That would mean much to me. I'll go see Lena, don't worry. If nothing else, should we learn the first is safe, we'll have that much more reason to keep fighting the good fight. Oh, I'm scared. The first better be. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. That said, oh, I have a new set of anxiety growing in me. To say the least. Which is why we're fortunate to have Uriange up there on the moon, working hard to make all the necessary preparations for our departure, should it come to it. And why we have nothing to lose by staying the course till the last instant. Indeed. To the last, let us all do what we can. I will consult with Master Matoya and see if she knows of a way to reach Hydaelyn from the Ethereal Sea. And I will visit the nation's leaders and attempt to ascertain how far the final days have progressed elsewhere. Keep me abreast of your findings. Oh, I'll I can keep you abreast. And slay the worst of the immediate threats. Only to slow the spread. Oh, he's so hot. Oh, he's so hot. Oh my god. Unease, terror, despair. <laughs> Try as we might to suppress them, these emotions will return to Harry us time and time again. But when they do, remember this your friends and loved ones are out there somewhere, sharing in your struggle. You are not alone.
So ends the brief respite before the next revelation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so much left for you to see. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Where beginning ends and end begins. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm beginning the walk to the end. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so sad that not all of y'all have the Emmet emote anymore. I'm going to I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. So when we hear that man, we can use it. I'm bringing it back. Because I made it a tier two. See, this is why we have to get a thousand subs. If we get a thousand subs, y'all will get the hair flip. <laughs> Wait, have y'all seen? Have y'all seen my tissue emote yet? We have this tissue, and we have a we have a spray bottle. <laughs> okay, let me let me move these around. Yeah, we have a tissue box. <laughs> Okay, Emmett is back in tier one, and I'm gonna put Solus in tier two. If I can find him, there he is. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, this emote combo. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, should we do the ins now or should I just quickly? Oh, I already <laughs> I already fucking clicked him now then is it? Oh, hello. Hello, sweet boy Can you believe I don't have any Orshapon emotes? I have to fucking change change that I gotta change that we have to we have to get way more emote slots I gotta redo my emotes. We gotta we gotta get the whole thing going now then is there anything we forgot to mention? Are your arms and armor in good order? Mm. Yeah In that case, it's time we each attend to our task. It's time we each attend to our task. And when you arrive on the first, give my regards to Reen. Tell her I miss her. Oh. I will give her a head pat for you, okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, higher. Why did I say it like that? Why did I say it like that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? What even is this achievement? Oh, it's an MSQ achievement. Complete the main scenario quest at world's end. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. What? What's wrong? I know, it was, it was a bit weird, right? I, I don't know why I moaned it either. <laughs> I don't know why I moaned it either. To the first, I take it. First, I have some... I have some... I have some records to indulge in, but yes. All right. Are you ready? Are we gonna do the end now? Okay. I guess I could do I could do it in the um in the crystarium no? Should I just should I, chat? What should I do? Should I just pick up the quest and then go to the crystarium and watch the um the cutscenes? Ah, fuck it. We'll just go to foundation. Yeah, if I'm going to the Crystarium, I may as well, right? All right, okay. <gasps> Return to the Crystarium! Grahat, he has something he wishes to give you. Yeah, his dick. Oh, we're on the level 86 quest! <gasps> One thing of note, Pepper? What? Whoa. What's the matter? What's wrong? What do y'all think Pepper sounds like? For... The Ishgardian delegate is a close friend of mine. Oh. What? They're a close friend of yours. What? I I'll be extra kind to them. Don't worry. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. <laughs> and I'm sure Lord Commander Emmerich would enjoy the warmth of your smile. Oh. Oh, you're too sweet. You're too sweet. <laughs> 
Like she's chain smoked since she was seven. She sounds like cousin it. Pepper sounds perpetually tired. I feel like Pepper's voice would probably be like, would she have an accent? I'm not sure if I would give Pepper an accent. Most of my characters are British in like some, in some degree. I don't, I don't know if, I'm not too sure if I would make Pepper British. Maybe Pepper would just be like this, but I feel like her voice would be like right around this, around this level. But you know, she's mostly really tired. So she probably just sounds like this a lot of the time, you know, like, Hey guys. Yeah. Um, that's a fucking stupid idea. So we're not going to fucking do that. Thank her to stop fucking messing around. You know? <laughs> but you must save the world before visiting home, do you not? Pray forgive my interruption. Oh. I get a hug! Home will always be waiting for me. No matter how far I stray or how long I'm away for. Okay. All right. Crystarium time? Crystarium time? Crystarium time? Crystarium time? All right. Crystarium time. Crystarium. 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 Yeah, right here. I bet Pepper would be 100% stressed out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pepper would always be stressed. Pepper would always be stressed out. But, you know. She has, like... <sighs> no! Okay, so... <sighs> okay. Let's do some let's do some character lore because I I think about Pepper a lot. I just don't really talk about it because like I've said like I'm trying to not grow her lore too too much until I'm all caught up with the story. But Pepper is a very 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 kind character. She's not like some of the other ones that I create where like they're a bit bratty and they're like a bit snotty and kind of exhausted and just done with everything. Pepper is incredibly kind and wants to help everybody. She loves children. She loves like making bouquets. She loves baking. She loves putting a smile on people's face. Like she's a people pleaser, but in like a, in a genuine way because she just likes making people happy. Not because like she's trying to gain anything from it. So I like Pepper would be stressed out, but she would never show it. She would never show it. She'd be the type to be like, um, you know, like she's exhausted, but the second someone comes in, the exhaustion fades. You know, like how you never show your, your kid that you're tired, that kind of thing. The weight of the world is on her shoulders and she doesn't necessarily know what to deal with it, but she knows she has good friends at her side and doesn't take credit for everything. That kind of thing, you know? Pepper has to put on a strong face for Alizé and Alfino, you know? like, yeah, she's that kind of baby. She's a good, good, good bean. And like, that's why she like Orshifon so much because like he matched that energy perfectly, you know? Um, and it's so funny in my friend's fanfic, is he even in here? Is Jay here? No, he's not. Um, he's writing Pepper into his fanfiction and there is a bit in it in one of the chapters that's already out where in because pepper lives in ishgard for a while um pepper and orshifon would go to the orphanage and like play with the kids and like take care of them is that not so cute that's a headcanon that like i didn't even think of that he made and I, i'm i'm fucking stealing it i love it i love to think that like they play like little tricks on each other every so often, like in private. Um, but like, they're always doing whatever they can to help the, like, to help kids, to help the sick, to help the poor. Yeah, it's really fucking cute. It's very, very, very cute. Your life is a journey and every journey eventually leads to home. Oh, so in case you missed this, um, he was like, but you must save the world before visiting home. Do you not? Pray forgive my interruption. And Pepper said, home will always be waiting for me no matter how far I stray or how long I'm away for. And then he said, your life is a journey and every journey eventually leads to home. Home is a place where you feel safe, the place you love and feel comfortable in, whether that is in my arms or otherwise. <laughs> ah, and before I forget, what? Before you forget what? What? 
Before I leave to the first, what is it? What could you possibly have forgotten? Or nearly forgotten. <laughs> but yeah, I really like Pepper lore. I love the lore that I'm building for Pepper because she's truly just, truly, truly, truly just. The children at the orphanage wanted me to give you this. <laughs> Time to protect you along your journey. Sprig and chocolate. Oh my god. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Pepper will absolutely treasure that. Oh, oops. My bad. I didn't mean to examine you so closely in public. Oh my god. I forgot to open my inventory. I forgot how to open my inventory. Oh my god, where is it? I gotta put that right here. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, chat. That got me. That really fucking got me. Man, he really came in here and said, I'm gonna turn that, that cry counter up one way or another. And he managed, and he fucking managed. At first there were, you know, I had some doubts because we were getting closer to abandoning him. I should not have talked about the pepper lore. I should not have talked about the pepper lore. Well, I have to, I have to send this to, um, to Jay real quick. I'm, I'm, oh my god. <laughs> RP is getting too powerful. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> can someone like clip that for me if it's not too late so I can send it? Oh man. Let me just quickly. Who knew Sarah was an RP at heart? I am. Y'all just don't see it. <laughs> Look, as someone who plays, who has been playing D and D for a very long time and does casual RP with friends, listen. It's too late. That's okay. I can go back in the vod myself and do it. All right, well, I don't even know what to say without crying. Thank you for the chocolate, you know? Tell the kids that I miss them and I can't wait to come back to, to Foundation and have a snowball fight with them. And for sure, I will win. I will absolutely win. I'll take them all down. <laughs> okay, well, time to head to the Castarium. <laughs> I give, I give hug. <laughs> All right, let's see what Graha has to give us. Oh, the way they all turn to me, oh my God. Take this pepper, my spirit vessel. Yo, is he giving me the, the crystal butt plug again? Oh, he's, yeah, he's giving me the butt plug. Nice. 
Empty now, of course, but it should allow you to operate the tower's systems in the umbilicus. If even the smallest fragment of a litter bus's, a litter bus's, a litter bussies essence remains, it should be possible to locate it. As for access to the umbilicus, pray to get Lena for assistance. Chances are she still stands watch at the at the Ascensa gate. Should she or anyone else ask for me, tell them I am living my life to the fullest, that I am happy, hardships and all. <laughs> well, we had best be our be on our respective ways. God's willing, we will see each other again here long. Mm. <laughs> Crystal butt plug time. Okay, chat, we're going back to the first. Wait. Yoip. Yoip. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, foot job! We're going to foot job? Okay, let's go to the Crystarium first and then we'll head to foot job. Yo, we hit 400 attunes. Let's go. The wife plug. The wife plug! Not the wife plug. All right, back in the fucking Crystarium. Who the... <laughs> Bishop! I was like, who the fuck is beating the air over here? What is happening here? <gasps> little Emmett! Little Emmett! Do a little... Little clibbity glibbity blibbity. All right, okay, we gotta go to the end first. Oi. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even remember where it is. is it the, the pendants, right? Yeah. Arrive at food, dinner, and a show. Hello, Italic Pizza! What dinner did you get? What are you eating? Is it pizza? What should I eat? Chat, what should I eat? I really want Popeyes. Should I get Popeyes? What's the plan? What's the play? Dude, I love... I love that my, my cat ears wiggle. Like, wee! <laughs> They're not supposed to. I broke them last year. But it's cute. Meow. Hello, Ponto. It's always a good day when we see the first, always. It's a cheeseburger and bacon wrap dates. Oh, that sounds good. I want a cheeseburger. I say Popeye so I can pay for it. Nice elbows today, thank you. Thank you, I agree with them myself, Ponto. I'm good, I'm good. I already cried. Can you believe it? I cried over an Orchfant Arpier. I mean, I love him, but that's our first cry of the day. Dude, the manager of sweets is also hot as fuck. Like, everyone in this game is so sexy, even the NPCs. It's honestly not fair. Doubtful it'll be the last? I think it will be. Chat, we're not gonna hit 80 cries today. Have you found any hot cat daddies yet? Um, no new ones, honestly. I think it's just Graha right now. I'm offline, so no. Cat Delves over Cat Boys. Yeah, you mean Kelsey? Welcome back, Mistress Mint. Your quarters are as you left them and shall ever be available for you. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Jacko. Hello, how are you? Here we go. Um. Okay, where do I go for this chat? Where, where do I? I'm good, Jacko. I'm good. Sky's the flame. This one. Okay. Oh shit! 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 Um, oh, it's not number two. I think it'd be number one, right? Because number two is when it's like after the inn, I think. Because it's the inn and then it jumps to the drama. I and think. lo, vile beasts did oh. rise. Maybe not. Okay, let's try number two. Oh, the quest before the skies? Okay, it is the one before the skies then. Okay. Oh, fuck 
me in the butt. Don't. No. <laughs> okay, returning home. Okay, let's see which one it is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No one is fucking me in the butt. Okay. Okay. Oh! I love that. I love that fucking score, by the way. Oh! Like, it's so crazy. The vocals go so hard in, like, all of these tracks, and I love it. Oh! <laughs> It reminds me of the fish meme, <laughs> yes. No. Bum 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 bum. Da na 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 ma ma ma. Okay, I only want to watch Estinians and Alize's, and the rest I can just watch in my my own time, or I can watch them another day because I do want to continue MSQ. Or should we just go through all of it? Um, let's do Estinian. She's going, she's going, she's going, going, going. Oh, oh, mm, oh, oh, his hair is down. Oh, mm. you're alone. Good. Mm, um, the twins thought mm. now would be a wonderful time to pay a visit to my chambers. Rather than listen to them bicker over tonight's snacks and tomorrow's plans, I seized the first opportunity to make my escape. Okay. To their credit, they decided against intruding on your peace and quiet. Would you like to come in? <laughs> Be a bit exhausting at times, can't it? Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure what to make of you at first. <sighs> During the Dragon Song War, how quick you were to take up a cause not your own. But I came to see that is simply the way of you and yours. It is. I'm, I'm a good egg. What I can I not say? I pretend to understand this talk of ancient primals and the final days. But I trust in your judgment and choose to believe in your cause. You and Alphano have my lance. Me and my baby. Now and always. Oh, oh, I will, I will take your lance. You'll need it. Rack and ruin looming on the horizon. Oh, I do. Uh, trust me. Calamity I do. Bearing down upon us. I do need it. Pepper has been dry for a very long time. There's she no would gladly I'd take your lance. Here. Oh. Standing shoulder to shoulder with friends on the front Oh my line. God! Personal growth. So to send me against your enemies. I'll make them rue the day they met me. Oh. Oh, you're so fucking sexy. Now, oh. Excuse me. I could do with a little air. Ah, mm. Hey, I have a window. Oh, I have a window. Ah, ah. Oh, mm. oh. Oh, oh. Oh, is he gonna. Oh, my God. Is he just. Is he gonna leap? Is he just. Oh. Until the morrow. He's just. Are you just. You're gonna just dragoon your way out of here? You're just gonna jump? Hmm. <clears throat> well. <sighs> Is that edging? Did he just edge me? I, I mean, like. Dragoons are like you mean just like Dark Knights. Dragoons are a little edgy. They got they're a little pokey pokey. Wow. Fucking edge walker, eh? Damn. Man, and now I gotta fucking watch Alize's, which is gonna probably be sweet and wholesome. Man, Pepper, pep, the pussy all wet now. This poor girl. Man, just strut in her fucking room. And then leapt off the balcony. 
Everyone was probably like, oh my god, Twirl's hair, Twirl's hair. Like I said last time. Like I said last time. The only way, like the only thing I could see Estinian coming to Pepper's room for would be like a like for a booty call. You know, it's like, Ayo, you up? You know? She'd get the you up text from him. And that's what happened. You up? But instead of finishing the duty, he dipped. Mm -mm. <laughs> Leaving a snail trail across the floor. No. Phil Dankman, hello. Thank you for the 14 months. Risa, I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. If this hadn't been No Nut November, the cutscene would have ended differently. Oh my god, you're right. You know what? We gotta respect him a little bit for that. Respect for Astinian. You know what? He's sticking with No Nut November. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, let's see what Alize has to say. My baby. Craving a midnight snack, were you? I did consider bringing a few sweets, but decided this wasn't an appropriate occasion. You should have brought me some sweets. I have a sweet tooth. I was going to come in? I couldn't sleep. Had a few things on my mind. I know it's late, so I'll try not to talk your ear off. Girl, you were going to sleep in that? It's Xenos. I keep thinking back to Garlemald when he'd taken control of your body. Oh. An altogether terrifying experience, to say the least. And one that served as a harsh reminder. Baby girl, you need some chapstick. Continue. No one, no matter how strong or quick or clever, is invincible. Not even you. And as much as it might seem at times that you are, one misstep, one mistake, and that's that. Which is why, even though I know you've heard it a thousand times before, I'm going to tell you to take better care of yourself. Because you really, really should. It goes without saying that we're all committed to this fight. But that doesn't mean that we need to throw our lives away. You know how I feel about noble sacrifices. Girl, you know how I feel about noble sacrifices! You have no idea! Right, that's settled. We'll be keeping the acts of gratuitous bravado to a minimum. Damn right! <laughs> That's why I'm a tank. I take the hits, but when I ain't gonna die. I father in the eye and swore we'd find a way to avert this tragedy. It wasn't a promise just for him. It was a promise for you. Oh, my child. My baby. My babu. And she runs away. I love her. I love her. Estinian only left because you sold zero out of three fish. Oh my god. Chat! <laughs> I promise I'll get better at my fish selling abilities, okay? Look, I know the final days are upon us because I couldn't sell fish properly, but I'm sorry, I tried. I did my gosh darn best. It just wasn't enough, apparently. Meow, 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 meow. Could have sold him to Stinian for three million gil. That's true. I could have scammed him real easily. How much did he fucking pay for that uh, ponytail, like elastic again? The hair tie? Well, let me just fucking go here. 19k? Oh, he's an icon. I've yet to beat FF16. Same. I haven't been FF16 yet either. Don't worry, you're not alone. So it's all your fault. We have to go through all of that because you failed to sell fish. Yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot how beautiful foot job was. You know, I'm not even gonna correct it. I'm not even gonna correct it. Shouldn't have tried selling fish to millennials. We have no money. You got me there. 
If you supported me through my teenage years, the final years wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Listen, Larry, if you didn't abandon your father and I for other cat girls, maybe this, uh, the events would have, um, also turned out better and be in your favor. Hello. Hello, Adub. What did I just walk into? Hey, look, I am not responsible for good looking foot jobs, okay? Me buying million gill pajamas on the market board? Man, it seems bad with money. No, but actually, Alex, I I spent... Fuck, I can't even show y'all. But I spent like three mil or even more than that, I don't know, on a shirt that I'm not even using. Like, glam has consumed me. <laughs> Lena! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Lena, my Icelandic queen. Peppa, oh, I don't remember how to do the accent. Peppa, you were returned. Have you been well? You and the others. All as all as well as can be. We've no short of troubles, but we're well enough as well as can be. <laughs> Feel glad am I to hear that. I trust my lord is enjoying himself. Oh, oh yes he is. He he said this to you, these exact words. Oh, to know that he is happy, it fills my heart with joy. Thank you, Pepper, for taking care of him. Oh, you're so welcome. I love my wife. I'd do anything for him. When next you see him, please tell him not to overexert himself. Feudal a request though it is. Don't you mean over exark himself? <laughs> and tell him that all is well here. The peace you gifted us continues and we work hard to build new lives for ourselves. In the course of this we occasionally bicker, but we've never been more optimistic for the morrow. If I had to mention one dilemma, it would be the question of our governance. Even as we speak, debate rages on over how we should run the city in the Exarch's absence. Most uh, most are of a mind that the Settlement Council should continue over to continue to oversee the general running of the Crystarium, while representatives are elected to determine policy and handle diplomacy. Thus far, nothing is set in stone. But however we choose to proceed, we will not replace our lord. No one could. Aww, the little soldiers in the back. Have we recently observed any unusual phenomena? No, I cannot say there have been. Curious that you should ask me this question, though. Why? Some days, some days ago, Reen came and asked the very same. She was rather unsettled, in stark contrast to how cheerful she has been of late. I don't like that. She and other Crystarium youths just hosted a festival, you see. It proved so popular that there are already plans for another celebration, one much bigger than the first. Between her preparations for the festival and the restoration of the empty, she struck me as happy and full of life. So when I saw her in a state of such worry, I couldn't help but feel worried in turn, especially since she could, wouldn't tell me what troubled her. Oh, I don't like this. Do you think she could, like, feel it? Feel the... The final days? I don't know. Because she has a bit of, like, Minfilia in her, which means she has a bit of Hydaelyn in her, right? Something like that? I dare say she would be more willing to confide in you. May I ask you to broach the subject with her? Of course! You wish to enter the Umbilicus? Very well. I shall fetch the key at once and take the opportunity to find Rain. Please wait for me in the city, in front of the Cabinet of Curiosity, shall we say. I will be along as soon as I can. All right. I'm going to order my my pop eyes. My eyes of pop. The eyes are popping. I hope we get to see um Gaia as well. I hope we get to see my little lesbian children. Wait, chat. 
Popeyes or Chipotle? Do I do it? Do I get Chipotle and start farting again? I kind of want Chipotle now. Hey, make a poll, make a poll. Flatulence powered MSQ. Seems like poop will be how this night ends. That's how every night ends though. No, no, no. It's not necessarily how every night ends, but it's how every morning begins. No, food. <laughs> Thank you for making the poll. How's everyone feeling tonight? How are we all doing? Are we all enjoying MSQ? I'm having a lot of fun chat. I love this game. This game is so good. Nodders, 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 nodders. We vibin', we vibin'. Straight vibin'. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Yo, chat. I didn't know that they had a, um, that they had a, um, a ranking for throne. Did you know on throne I am... I'm in the top 0 0.9 of all wishlist wish list creators. Did you know that? That's wild. Who would have thought? You're welcome. Yeah, I was going to say. Dentist kept keeping me fed. <laughs> oh my god. Chipotle and Popeyes are almost neck and neck. Chipotle is at 86. I've been very much enjoying your takes and thoughts and all that jazz as you go through. Thank you. I'm glad. Sometimes I feel like I'm not that talkative when I play this game. Holy shit. Who's opening my door? Oh, my family. I'd probably bring back my dog. Holy shit. That fucking scared me. Oh my god. Wait one sec. Is that a Waldo? Is that a baby boy? Is that a Waldo? Did Waldo eat? Yeah. Can you Waldo? 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 Wanna come see chat? <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's a baby boy! Oh my goodness, look who's here. Look who's here. Yeah, I didn't know Waldo was gone. Yeah. My family had Waldo today. They came over, I took a nap, and then they took the boy. Oh my goodness. That my handsome boy. Bye. I will. That my handsome boy. Look at this boy. Look at this boy, the floofy poofy boy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Chipotle won with 129. The baby. The baby, baby. Oh, I'm just looking at the pics that my mom sent me now. Oh, my baby. Okay. All right. Let me just quickly take care of Waldo. And I'll be back. Let me quickly order my Chipotle. We're gonna get a Chipotle bowl. We're gonna get a Chipotle bowl. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like, sometimes I feel like I'm not that chatty when I play MSQ because like I get so sucked into the story. One minute until closing? 
Okay, I'm getting Popeyes. <laughs> God's commanded Popeyes, okay? I'm sorry. I really thought, I really, you know, I really wanted Chipotle and I was really happy Chipotle won, but alas. Hi, baby. There's a boogie schmoogie bazoomba. There's a boogie shoogie bazoomba. There's a wombo jombo bomba laboo. What's my wombo jombo bomba laboo doing here, huh? What? <laughs> What? What the magusi? What the magusi busi? What are you boosting about? Why are you being a busi? What did I do? What did I do? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Are you mad that grandma gone? <laughs> what? I didn't. Uh, what? Oh, is it because the box is in the way? It's in your spot? You want me to move the box? You want me to move the box? Here, I'll move the box. Here, I'll move the box. Is that better? Do you want to come hang out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pet him? I will, I will. Hey! Water, your beard is so wet. Hello! Hello, little boy! Go to the bay. Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? No! No! I didn't see you for hours! Are you fighting me? He's fighting me! He's mad at me! Hello, Nerdalicious! I'm happy that you finally were able to catch a stream too! Hello! Look, you can curl. Oh, is it because these are still here? <laughs> oh. oh my god, look at that face. Oh. Like, how am I supposed to say no to that? Do you know what I mean? How am I supposed to say no to this little face? He's telling you his Popeye's order. <laughs> here, we'll give him one. Okay, this is from you, chat, okay? Oh, fuck, look at him. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at him. <laughs> he knows I'm here. He senses Jay. <coughs> oh my goodness. What was that? What that? Wait. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
because I almost knocked my my headset over. Come here. everything I oh, know he's a good boy but he's a brat <laughs> side eyed cam <laughs> Wait, did, he, did he actually clip it clip it I want to see I want to see <laughs> clip it <laughs> Waldo come back here I'll give you one more treat one more treat in exchange for a kiss brat with a brat I know it's a terrible combination also Drew hello hello Pharaoh Damn, he really ain't giving me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You want to get a kiss? Oh my god, he not give me a kiss. Mom, I'll do every single trick in the book, but I will not give you a fucking kiss. Grandma's gone. God, my dog is so short. You see how tiny his legs are? He's just a little dude. <laughs> He's literally just a little guy. All right. Okay, let's see this clip. I gotta see this shit. my mom to make sure that they WALK'd him. I feel like they did because he's wearing his harness in this photo. Okay, yeah, they did. They did. He's wearing his harness in the photo that she sent me. I think he's, I think he's literally just mad because my mom and my uncle left. And I'm not playing with him immediately because I'm working. I want treats. He's such a brat. Can we get a Waldo cam? Honestly, if y'all pay for it, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, mom. Help you chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom. <laughs> I love Waldo. I, I love him. I know I'm late for stream. How far did we get tonight? Oh, we... We just got to the Crystarium. We had the feast, and now we're in the Crystarium. He's like, the audacity, doesn't she know I'm the center of the universe? He is, though. Waldo truly is the center of my universe. And it breaks my heart whenever I don't get to spend time with him. But you know what? He could eat my ass. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay, chat. Let's go to the Crystarium. I completely forgot you go there. Wow, Jay. Wow. You're not a real fan of this game. You don't even remember the MSQ. Also, chat, Jay is the one who wrote the orphanage thing. So he is, you know, technically the reason I cried. We're not going to blame Orshmont. We're going to blame Jay. Everyone point to Jay 
and say boo. Boo! You made my cry counter go up! Boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> John Final Fantasy forgot about MSQ. John Final Fantasy! True! True. It was just coincidence someone said that or did someone else read it? Oh, I was telling Chad, I was talking about um, Pepper's lore a little bit and how not all of it is like fully fleshed out because I am not done with Endwalker and, you know, I want to know where the story progresses before I actually like, you know, finalize lore. And so I mentioned that like in your fanfic, oh, because like we were also talking about how Pepper is a really good person. Like she is just genuinely a very good person, good hearted individual. And so then I mentioned how in your fanfic, she and Orshifant like spend time in the orphanage and like play with the kids and take care of them and stuff like that. Um, and so then the Orshifant RPer was hanging out with us. And pretty much the second that I mentioned that, that's when he said, um, that's when he um, said what I sent you and then traded me the, the Spriggan chocolate. And so now Pepper is gonna keep this on her literally forever. She will never get rid of this. I wish there was a way to like to like just keep it there. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have a little Emmet with me <laughs> because I accidentally uh, bought Clockwork Solus when I actually already have him. So now I have I just have a little Emmet in my in my pocket. <laughs> just like organize this real quick. Yeah, I really wish that I could organize my inventory and like not have like have certain items locked that way when i hit sort they don't move i would love that do you have any pets oh i do i have a big sammy ed named waldo he was actually just here oh i could put it in my saddlebag true but my saddlebag is full of of um this stuff I guess I could put these in one of my retainers because I, do, I don't necessarily use them until I'm like ready for them. But my retainers are also kind of stacked. I don't know, I'll figure it out. One of these days, um, one of these days I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. I just tuned in, don't worry, here. Let me quickly show you my boy. <laughs> this is Waldo Bombastic. <laughs> you know what, okay, that's a good clip. You know what, we'll just leave it at that. That's my dog. I'm not gonna bother him anymore. He, uh, kidding, keep it for someone who loves him? Oh, I can't even give it away. That's the thing. I can't even give it away because it's like, it's a bot item. So he's literally just stuck with me. My saddlebag is just all dyes. My dyes are in a retainer. Horsey fart is such a good idea for a Halloween costume. He's a great ghost. Okay, you're banned. You're fucking banned. Get out of here. Get! Go on, get! Okay, let's wait for Lena. The following event can. The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, are we about to hit uh, cry counter 80? CC 80? We're gonna get a big CC 80 in the chat? Alright, stream is ending. We're gonna edge Kelsey. Bye, Ava. Enjoy MSQ. Alright, chat. Grab your tissues. Now that we, now that we, wait, now that y'all know we have that emote, hold on. Hold on, I have a new copy, a little copy pasta thing for us. Ready? It's this, there. So if you're ready, if you're ready, <laughs> grab your tissues. You ready <laughs> for this fucking cutscene coming up? Cause I'm not. Not the, not the gachi. And my Popeyes is almost here. So grab your tissues, I'll grab my Popeyes and then we'll start this. Oh man, oh man. I'm going to catch his last cry and go to bed. That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds like a good plan. Whew. I'm scared. Oh, Chad, I'm scared. 
I'm excited, but I'm scared. Carnival eating tendies? Yeah! Dude, I'm gonna have, like, my little nuggets. That's, like, perfect. That's perfect for this. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. I had a sleep soon, but OMG, I gotta see this. No! Y'all are scared! Y'all are scaring me! Just remember the lyrics of the background music? Oh, I'm trying not to. Stand tall! me crying or singing and he was like mom are you okay <laughs> he heard me singing and I was like I am concerned mom I'm scared check text okay okay my food's here are you ready let me grab it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Get those tissues. Let me go get my Popeyes and then we'll start this. Everywhere I do. I do actually. My dog keeps my home very stuffed with hair. Hi, baby. He wants my Popeyes chat. How do I tell him he's not getting any of it? Okay. I'm I, I don't know what this event is, but I'm I'm scared. I'm very nervous. What sauce did you get? I got two sweet heats and black and ranch. Okay, ready? The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty final registrations. Wait for Lena. All right, we're waiting. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, we're looking around. I see lemon trees. The Crystarium is so beautiful. Do my old eyes deceive me? Is that truly pepper? Oh my god! It's a librarian, dude, and, and yeah, Beck Log! Ha, it is full glad am I to see you hail and hold, my friend. What a wonderful surprise it is to have you back with us, and at this most opportune time. In case you haven't heard, we are planning to produce a tome chronicling events from the flood to the night's return. For this project, we intend to draw upon records kept by the world's peoples. Historical and contemporary first-hand accounts will be the centerpiece of the tome, but yours will be the one to crown them all. Man, they putting me to work? They putting me to work? I thought we were gonna be getting drama. You thought so too, right, Buki? I have been asked to contribute a chapter on the soul, a subject that is key to understanding much of your endeavors. In the course of developing the spirit vessel, I gained valuable insights into... How does Beck Lug sound again? Uh, it, it, aren't they kind of like nasally? I don't remember. <laughs> um, I gained valuable insights into travel beyond the rift, knowledge that will allow me to attest to your existence and deeds. Nasally, yeah? Mm, uh, to attest to your existence and... And, and needs. Oh, I can't even do it right now. Fuck.
There's no end to the questions I would ask you, but if you could indulge me just one for now. In your quest to return to restore the night, you face many a formidable foe. Among them, who offered you the greatest struggle? Titania, ooh, driven mad by light and loneliness. Vothri and his misguided self-righteousness. Hades, who bore the burden of his people. This may come as a surprise, but... Okay, wait, which one? Which one? Do I say the last one to imply that none of them were difficult? Is that what that's implying? I low-key want to pick Hades. Yeah, low-key I want to pick Emmett. <laughs> Pepper Gaging <-Gino> Reef. <laughs> mm. Like, yeah, Hades for sure. So that fight, fuck me, raw. Who bore the burden of his people? I love poetry. Ah yes, Hades, who sought to resurrect his ancient brethren. He was the final obstacle in your quest to restore the night, who battled in the depths of the tempest, the stuff of epics. But yeah, compelling as it is, I worry that mere words wouldn't do justice to that fateful confrontation. Not that we could think to omit it entirely, of course. No. At the very least, we will impress upon readers that it was the climax of your hero's journey. Well, in many ways, you're right. I kn I know you'd, you'd love to talk her ear off, Morin, but we should really be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> Those documents from Yulmore won't collect themselves. Of course, of course. And afterwards, would you care to join me for tea? I was hoping you might clarify a few points in your tre treaties? Treatise? Treatise? Until next time, then, you tell the others to look after themselves. Our overzealous friend in particular. Remind him not to over exarch himself. Again and again until his ears fall off. That's what it takes for him to take it to heart. Oh my god. Am I just gonna get bombarded by everyone from Shadowbringers? <gasps> Is it the Warrior of Darkness? Oh my god! Ricky! Oh my god, Ricky! I forgot about this little kitten! God, my babies. Pepper has so many babies. Try it. Let me chew. Let me chew. <clears throat> it's her. It's really her. What are you doing here? If you're going to battle, I can give you some medicine. I made it myself. That's not Ricky. You'd only give her a stomach ache. We've come to see Morin to get his advice. When the god finally agreed to teach us how to fight, but first, we need to choose a fighting style. While I know that I want to be a mage, Arkill isn't sure. Oh my god, he looks like a baby Ardbert! Magic isn't really my thing, so I was thinking of taking up the axe! He lo oh my god, he looks like a penny Ardbert! Oh my god, it's a J! Jay's in the game. Can I start introducing that same motivated by a sword bow? Or the sword, or maybe the bow. Oh my god. Yeah, you have my sword, and my bow, and my axe. They all seem alright, but it's hard to decide, so I thought I'd ask Morin. He knows about lots of things. <gasps> he isn't here. Oh. Oh, oh, why don't you have the Warrior of Darkness choose for you? What do you think suits Arkle best? Axe, sword, or bow? <sighs> For smiting your opponent. The axe. My son, Jason. Jason, oh my god. Get out! Get out of here! Mini Ardbert deserves the axe. 
the axe. If you took up the axe, you could be just like... <laughs> the warrior of light! I love that tale. Let's borrow the book today. It's really popular though. I hope it's still there. Thanks for helping me decide, Warrior of Darkness. I'll start with that style and maybe try something else later on. And when I get really strong, I have to have a bout with you. Oh, oh my god, chat. Oh, that made me so happy. Oh, that made me so fucking happy. Literally mini Ardbert. Oh, okay, who am I gonna see now? Hmm. Such fun she's been having back in the adoration of musty old bookworms and wide-eyed younglings. She spared a thought for me. Of course not. What's this? Oh, is it the... Is it Fe... 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 Uh, Fe... Uh, or whatever their name is? I'm getting away to wait, but she won't so much as acknowledge the presence of a beautiful branch, even though they're right here! How do I? Okay. How should I approach them? Oh, faithful Feo. Is it pronounced Feoul? I don't remember. Oh, faithful Feoul, loveliest of branches. How have I? How I have missed you? Or should I go? Don't you have more important things to do, Your Majesty? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that one. I know, like you've taken, taken the um, the ruler role from Tatiana or whatever the hell. But I feel like I should just go with this, the middle one. Okay. <laughs> I, I, oh, king, right. Oh, they, right. The pronouns are they, they, them, right? I don't actually quite remember. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, they, them, king. Slay. Slay. Okay. We'll go with the middle one. I don't want to piss off a Faye either. I remember Beck Lug being um, non binary. Ah! If you truly miss me, you should have cried for me at the top of your lungs the instant you arrived. Then we got for you will call with twice the passion next time. Or just out of her. Though, you, though for there to be a next time, you've some few struggles to overcome. So, my adorable sapling, the world is on the verge of destruction, is it? Oh. How did you know? <laughs> How do I know this? Joined as we are, spying on you is as simple as sliding on the back of a rainbow. Very simple. Would that I could aid you in your quest. But the fate of we fey folk is bound to that of the star. Whither it goes, so too do we follow. Such is our way. The most I could do for you is spare you the pain by gifting you the sweetest of eternal dreams. You mean kill me? You mean kill me? Did they just suggest that they would kill me? Don't do it, Fail. I'm tired of this. But if escape's not to your liking, then you must struggle with your fellow mortals. Jesus. Ah, but here are the ones you're waiting for. I wonder, what manner of conclusion awaits at Tail's End? Yo! <laughs> I feel like that was just Yoshi P talking to me, honestly. Cry, chat. I'm gonna fucking cry. 
My apologies for the delay. Peppa, it's so wonderful to see you again. It is! It's so wonderful to see you too! <laughs> you, doubt you doubtless have much catching up to do, so I shall leave you to it. I'm taking the liberty of unlocking the umbilicus. You, you may enter at your own leisure. You know, the Exarch's like, adopted daughter, and then Thancor's adopted daughter, and then me, the sexy stepmom? <laughs> I'm not okay. Amanaline? <gasps> Wait, where's my brother in law? Wait, Amanaline, pat me. He pet me. Where is he? Where'd he go? Amanaline was here. I smell him. <laughs> I don't see him, though, but I can smell him. <laughs> okay, let's chat with Reen. <sighs> I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm relieved to hear that everyone is well. I've had this feeling like a pit in my stomach, and I was afraid that something might have happened. Maybe I'm overthinking overthinking things, but it's just that oh, the music. <laughs> I'm the Oracle of Light, but I've never spoken with Hylian. Never once heard her call. Even so, I'm always I've always had this feeling deep inside me. A connection to something immense. These past few days, though, that connection has wavered. As if that immense something was distant, then close, then distant again. Mm -mm. And then the other night, I was jolted awake by the feeling it had been completely severed. Oh my god! Wanting some fresh air, I went to the to open the window, and to my horror, the sky was ablaze! Like during the star shower! Is she, like, having visions? Or is she seeing through me? Then I blinked and everything was normal. The next day, no one said a thing. No one else had seen what I had seen. As far as I could tell, nothing was out of the ordinary. I began to wonder if it was a figment of a half-remembered dream. Mm. Peppa? What are you not telling me? Oh, God. I have to know. Please! It doesn't matter how terrible it is! It wasn't my imagination then. The doom we witnessed in Amarot has come again. I can't believe it. Like I told you before, all is well here in the first. So don't worry about us. Please, look only to the threat before you. We're fine right now, and even if we weren't, we've learned how to survive. Should the final days reach us here as well, you may be, you may, you may be assured we won't go quietly. No, we'll hold on until you can find a way to save all our worlds. So long as you continue your fight, so too will we. United in purpose beneath the blazing sky. Oh my god. <sighs> Reen and Alize? Like, I just... You do Reen's voice really well. I love so much. Your sound effect for the Warrior of Light's voice. Sims ass Warrior of Light dialogue. Thanks, chat. Thank you. Thank you. I do. I do my best. I do my best. I don't really remember completely how Reen sounds, but I know it's like, it's it's very it's light, but like, not entirely youthful. You know what I mean? Though I don't fully remember it, but I, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <sighs> Man.
again. Okay. Oh, oh no, chat. Oh no, we got another question mark uh, mission coming up. Oh fuck. Hi, Kanzo. Manganese greatsword. Oh, oh, it's pretty. Very pretty. Hope upon a flower. Reen wears a look of steely resolve. Okay, we're gonna go play with the umbilical cord and maybe figure out more about the Elpis. Purple on the handle? What do you mean purple on the handle? Oh, the sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, I liked about it. Hold on, I'll pull it back up. Hmm. Yeah, what Boo said. So, anytime I see question mark, question mark, question mark, that usually implies like something big is coming next or something pivotal to the narrative. And anytime I see something like this, an image in the uh, quest pop up, that entails that there's gonna be like a cutscene, like a big cutscene. So, it's very exciting when you see that. Um, but yeah, no. Sorry, I was eating my, my nuggets, but no, the sword is very pretty. The purple is what I like. I wish the sword was like a little bit more dramatic, but I fuck with the purple. Oh no, I was gonna say, if I could make the sword like more silver, that'd be cool. But then it gets rid of that purple. Oh well. All right. Here we go. I'm sorry, you haven't finished the feisty little joke about yet? No, I have not. <laughs> I never will. Until I've officially run out of things to do. Wiggles in chat? Are you getting wiggles? Are you getting Cyra wiggles? All right, wiggle it up. Larry! We've got a little golden frog. Vosk! What? <laughs> Hi, Vosk. Hello. <coughs> I'm good. Ah. I'm good. All right, let's get the wiggles going. It's time. It's wiggle time, baby. I thought you were a professional. Stop choking on the Coke. Listen, I'm off duty right now, okay? I don't have to go, go full force. Right? I can mess up a little bit. <laughs> Alright. You headed to the umbilicus to consult with Elidibus, right? I'll do some consulting of my own and speak with Nina. Decide how we might best prepare for the... <coughs> prepare for that. For the final days. So it's farewell for now, but we'll see each other again. I'm certain of it. Right. <coughs> well, Larry, we're going to the umbilical cord. <coughs> let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm so, I'm so nervous. Oh my, oh my God, Nissan and a Manolita. <laughs> oh my God, and Or, and or in his armor. <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Mistress Pepper, welcome back. The captain has told me all. <laughs> Give the one I will show you to the ocular. <laughs> oh, Alright, to the umbilical cord! Allons-y! I'm so excited. <coughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. You know what even the portal even looks like a vagina a little bit. Oh.
The crystal butt plug. Biometric authentication complete. Please state your business. Acknowledged. Reinitializing Circus Tower systems. Searching for Elidibus entity. Elidibus. <laughs> Located in subterranean core power accumulator. Oh man. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh man. My home. My friends. No more than a dream. Oh. You. Oh, why have you awakened me? <laughs> I no longer sense those places beyond. All Lord Zodiac. You must explain all. Get that? So, <laughs> he has fallen, and my brethren's souls returned to the star. The doom we sacrificed so much to prevent is come again. Old burdens now yours to bear. But if this is Van Daniel's design, then I, as Elidibus, have a duty to fulfill. Go on. Your unsolicited act has restored to me some few memories of the convocation. Oh? Such knowledge as I have, I will share. Oh, we get in some law. Thank you. I'm sorry. I feel like... I feel like I should say I'm sorry. It just feels right. Saying I'm sorry just honestly feels like the right thing to say. Bringing back memories, uh, failing, but also not failing. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I want to say thank you, like, thanks. You sh thanks for helping, but like, I feel like also like after everything, I think Pepper would just be like, more like <laughs> almost empathetic to his cause do you know what I mean uh, yeah I'm gonna go with I'm sorry why apologize for receiving a favor of the defeated if it sits ill consider it payment for freeing Lord Zodiac from service oh. well <laughs> Where to begin? Ah, the end. Your understanding of what caused the final days is consistent with our own. The decay first took root where the currents were weakest. Yes, a conclusion drawn by him, Fan Daniel. Not the him of here and now, but as I knew him, long, long ago. Having shed light upon the phenomenon, he dedicated himself to devising a countermeasure. Were it not for his knowledge of the celestial, we would never have made the connection, and thence forestalled the final days. Mm. And though he inherited that noble soul, how different this last incarnation, so consumed by self-loathing and hate. Yo, the music dramatically, like, changing like that? Elpis. Yes. 
The name is familiar to me. Yet I know it not as a flower, but a place. <laughs> what? A testing facility for determining which of our creations were fit to be released into the world. What? Many worked there. And before joining the convocation and assuming the title of Fandaniel, he was their chief. What? He was Hermes. Hermes. Kermie and Hermie. That is all I know. What? The crystals tell little of the lives the 14 led prior to their induction. Yo, we got Hermes, we got Hermes Hades. Yo, where's this. Zeus? Where's Mary Persephone? Has survived. Yo, I can be the Persephone to Hades. I saw you there. In Elpis. Eh? No. I did not. Huh? But I did. Eh? Yo, you I got cat did. girls in Elpis? A lingering trace of impossibility. Eh? What? 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 And the truth. Ah! <laughs> fills my heart. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? 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 Fucking head tilt. <laughs> my memories remain clouded, I fear. However, <laughs> they have revealed to me one possible course. You must travel to Elpis, to the time when Hermes served as its chief. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, t uh, t uh, what? In glimpsing oh. the Exarch's memories, not only did I make his summoning magic mine own, I also mastered the workings of this tower, which, having absorbed my empowered essence, now harbors an abundance of energy. As such, can you send me back? Oh I my believe God! I can deliver you unto the past, unto that place and that precise moment. <sighs> what? What the fuck? Given the eons that must be traversed, the gateway will not be fully formed. Your form will be less tangible still than those warriors of light I had summoned. In all likelihood, None will be able to see or hear you. Oh, okay. Yet even like should you manage to interact with others, you will be unable to affect meaningful change. See, that was going to be like my second question. First of all, this man can send me back into time? What the fuck? Third of all, I mean, well, first of all, second of all, I don't even know what number I'm at. I, I asked one thing. Anyways, anyways. I, that was that was gonna be what, what the question I was gonna ask. Like, are you like are you sending me back into the past so I can do something to alter the events happening now? But <sighs> fuck. I, but now he's he's saying this. I okay. For the reality you wish to save, the reality to which you must return, exists as a result of the final days. Mm hmm. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. You know, if I only <laughs> cannot unmake the if I only let him continue fated. speaking, I would have had my answer. But you know, all right. <laughs> In full knowledge of this, will you still entrust your life to your foe and make the journey? I, I mean, I'm not really gonna get much of a chance or an option here, am I? Very well. I shall cast you unto the river of time. Let this be my final act. Oh my god. You must input the commands. I no longer have the authority. First, you must reconfigure the systems, that the tower's ether may be channeled for the magic. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. Oh. oh, I didn't even get to say goodbye or thank you. Is this a trap? The preparations are complete. 
The gateway will soon open. Return at once to the ocular. Okay. I am to go through the portal of sea. Oh my god. All appears to be in order. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Magic should consume every last mote of my essence. Why are you surprised? Did I not say that this will be my final act? Lord Zodiac is no more. There is nothing for me here. The ones I love and long to see again are waiting in that promised land beyond memory and dream. <sighs> now go, warrior <sighs> of light. Go and do not look back. playing in the back <laughs> man why do you call me out like that too <laughs> well, I, do. I take my leave of you yours is the mantle of the last of us may you have the joy of it the burden and the solitude. What the fuck? It falls to you now. <laughs> you and your champion <laughs> to save our star. going through the the fucking shit again i swear to god if i start seeing people whiz past me like the beginning of Shadowbringers, do not do not kick me while i'm already down bro oh this shit is so cool though huh what this is this what i'm going into hey what a Am I am I supposed to be going into this? Oh, I guess so. Oh, I ah okay. My flashback over here. Okay. Okay, we have an etherite. Oh, <gasps> I'm invisible. A ghost. Oh. Oh my god, they're huge! I mean, I knew that, but like, oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, size can't go crazy. Oh my god, wait, I'm back here! Isn't this where we were ordering McDonald's? Isn't this where we were ordering McDonald's? Oh my god! Wait, what's this? Incorporeal, transcending the boundary between existence and annihilability. Hope upon a flower, explore the facility. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. All right, we're car counter is at 80. Holy shit. Ah. Holy fuck! <laughs> they got me good! They got me real fucking good, man! They got me a little too good! <sighs> I had... I had tears fucking like dripping and shit! Oh my god! Okay! Alright! Okay! Um... I'm... Oh fuck! I'm... I'm... Well... Guide like man! Um... Holy shit! So I, so I'm in like Amarat right now, eh? Like, but like actually, right? 
<laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, um, well, this is sparkling, so I'm gonna go check out the etherite. I'm assuming I can't, like, actually use it, but... Etherite-like device, yes, etherite-like device. The device is reminiscent of an etherite. Perhaps it is possible to attune with it. Oh, I can! <gasps> Chat, we're attuning! We're attuning! <sighs> Despite attempting to channel and focus your energies, oh, you fail to attune with the device. You can only assume that it operates differently. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would. Conversing woman, guide-like man, a tree. I can't even run here, chat. I can't even run here. So I see two things. Okay, black robe man. Okay, let's go. Let's start with the guide like man. Okay. 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 Yeah, I love how I whipped out my sword immediately. Like, Pepper's first instinct going into new places. Whoa! What's happening here? What's going on? Am I safe? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Oh, hello! Uh, the man stands dutifully by the etherite-like device. A guide for this facility, in all likelihood. You attempt to get the man's attention, but if he sees or hears you, he gives absolutely no indication. As the little bus warned, it appears your form is intangible. Alright, let's do some eavesdropping then. Yo, baby people! This is the right place, yes? Judging by the woman's words, this facility is called Propylion. 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 It's Propylion, yeah. You attempt to gently prod the woman to attract her attention, but feel nothing. And it seems neither does she. Alright. Give Pepper her zoomies! Let Pepper zip zap zoom me doom ba doom boom boom! <laughs> okay. Oh man, chat. Oh god. Ooh, my makeup. Ooh wee! Okay, black robe man. The remarkably large man wears a black robe and a half mask, much like the phantoms you encountered in Mari Lamentorum and the recreated Amarot. It would seem you haven't made it. You have made it to your destination. You ju you gesticulate, gesticulate wildly and show all manner of greetings and obscenities, but the man does not so much as glance in your general direction. Okay, where do we go? Okay, I guess we're gonna leave. Can I open the door? Oh wait, this one's hot. Wait. Interesting. Wait, so is this one. I love this hairstyle. This hairstyle is so good. It's so fucking good. Okay. Am I gonna, can I just like walk through the door? Will I be able to open it? You suspect the door, this door leads outside, but how to open it? <gasps> oh my God, I wonder what outside is gonna look like. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're interacting, we're interacting. We're checking it out. Oh, we got a cutscene. Do I just have to wait for someone else to open the door? Oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh, who's that? And here we are. Elpis. Elpis, baby. Wait, those are two masculine well, hands. Well. How rare to receive you in person. Wait, who is this? To what do we owe the honor? Wait, that sounds like that other dude. Oh, just a few odd tasks. Wait, I recognize this voice. Wait. You're welcome to stay as long as you see fit, of course. As a matter of procedure, however, I must <sighs> ask that you kindly remove your masks. Come now. Is this truly necessary? Surely you can tell who we are. Who you are, perhaps. But I am far less infamous. Regardless, if we do not follow protocol, it is our hosts who would be held accountable. So, please, do favor us with your handsome face.
satisfied? Yes! Yes! Yes, I am! I thank you for your cooperation. You are free to go about your business. You see it too, yes? What? What? Oh. 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 I haven't the foggiest what you're talking about. He hasn't the foggiest. He hasn't the foggiest. Hmm. That's odd. <laughs> Not this music. Not this fucking funky ass music. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Right here. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Ether, oh my god! 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 Oh so let's leave it be. Come. I have a name and it's Pepper. Please, it's Pepper. Can they hear me? Can they hear me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They can hear me. Oh. It's trying to say something, but it's literally too intangible to form words. I feel I, um, okay. You know what? Why don't you give it some ether? Spare a snifter of your bounteous reserves. Yeah, give me, give me, yeah, g give me some ether. Yeah, yeah, just, who just. Who do you take me for? The man who's about to give me some ether? Why, a dear friend, of course. One who wouldn't let acts of kindness, such as my accompanying him on errands to far-flung outposts, go unrewarded. <sighs> Slay. Give me some juice. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I suggest you close your eyes or this may be unpleasant. What is what is he taking? What how how is he going to give me the ether? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, he snapped. And then my clothes came off. Just like that. <laughs> close your eyes, open wide. <laughs> You may open your eyes. Okay. <gasps> you can touch me now. Am I bigger too? Oh. Am I still baby? Wait. I think I'm a little bigger now. Oh, I'm bigger now! I sized up! Oh. You even adjusted its size. Mm. Thank you. The better to indulge your whim. This way, it will be easier to communicate. Why, so I don't hurt your neck when you look down at me? How very thoughtful of you. And may I applaud your artful reinforcement. What does that mean? Without further ado then. Greetings, I am Hithlidaeus, chief hello! of the Bureau of the Hello, ah, yes, yeah, hello! Sulking beside me is the most honorable in its sulk of the Convocation of 14. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And how might we address you, my new friend? <laughs> a fine name. And I'm pleased to see you understand our words. Oh my god, I have to fix my ears. <laughs> like, I can't. So, tell us, whence have you come? The thinness of your essence suggests you weren't created here. What? You do not know, or cannot say. I don't know how I should tell them that hmm. a little bussy Allow sent me here. Allow me to ask here. a different question then. What brings you here? I seek a man named Hermes. I want to learn about Elpis. Mm. I mean both, but I feel like finding Hermes is like the more important option here 
I feel like that's what Pepper would lean towards. Because in, with finding Hermes, that'll take her to El... Well, I mean, I guess also picking Elpis would take her to Hermes. And I guess it might be less suspicious. Well, where's my other pin? I don't, I don't know where the other pin for my, my ears went. Fuck. Okay, let me just... Holy fuck. Ah. Okay, chat. Whoa. Chat. Whoa. I'm having an epiphany. I'm having a moment. I'm having a fucking moment, chat. Good night, dentist. Good night. Holy shit, chat. Hold on. I gotta find something real quick if I can. Holy fucking shit. If I can find this, this clip. Do I say it here? Is this the clip where I fucking say it? Okay, so it's not that clip. It's not that clip. It's not that clip. <laughs> it's not that one. There's a there's another one that I'm looking for. I'm having a fucking moment, chat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Where is the clip of me saying I was not going to fall in love with Emmett because he doesn't have white hair? <laughs> I don't know where that clip is. But I know it's on here somewhere. <laughs> I... I know it's on here somewhere. I just don't know where. I just have no clue where. I'll, I'll find it eventually. Oh, man. I've been waiting for this scene since you said that I was waiting for the specific moment when I heard the white hair line. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, all right, chat. Okay, okay. Um. All right, you know what? We're gonna go with uh, I seek a man named Hermes. Well now, the same as us. Oh, perhaps what as a in wish to come too, but had to settle for a familiar. If she truly wished to be here, then she would be. I'm so confused. Right, you are. I'm so confused. My apologies if we've given offence. The two of us can discern the color of souls, you see. And yours happens to resemble that of a friend. A close friend, and apparently. And with your purpose matching our own, besides, we jumped to a hasty conclusion. I, I remember Emmett saying that I reminded him of someone. We are here and to speak that with Hermes, I, I have the, uh, chief uh, overseer the of this like, facility, same crystal which we also intend to tour in order to gain greater Adam. insight into the man's work. We, I say. Though this is Emmett Selk's charge. Aww. I am here only to serve as his guide. And I should be happy to serve as yours as well. By way of an apology for the misunderstanding. Oh, Hithlodeus is so sweet. Wait. Are you suggesting that we bring it along on official business? Stop calling this me it, bitch! thing we know next to nothing about? I'm not a thing! If you harbor Their suspicions, eyes. Oh my God. better to keep it close than leave it to its own devices. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I'm there. I'm the stray cat that they picked up off the side of the road. <laughs> Besides, 
Having a mysterious life form in tow is the norm rather than the exception here. The norm? The norm? What the fuck do you mean it's the norm? Oh, I want to see what it looks like here. Oh, it looks bright. I can already tell by the light reflections. Welcome, my friends, to the testing ground of creation at Heaven's Edge. Elpis. Oh, it's so pretty. Yo, it's giving Pandora. Argos! Isn't that mommy? This presence. Oh! <gasps> Shit, mommy! <gasps> oh, my god, it likes a little! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hermes! Visitors! We have visitors! I, oh, they have a tail. I like their little... Oh, they got... Are they a bird? Bird person. <laughs> what secrets are you hiding, I wonder? Wouldn't you like to fucking know? <laughs> Angie Pepper. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh my god, all of you in your little robes! Oh my god, Orshifa and his robe and Madeline in the robe too! I'm gonna pee pee poo poo. <laughs> oh my god. Captain found the clip? I'm about to be so embarrassed, aren't I? <laughs> Hold on, let me... Let me just put in 720. Sir, you have got me baffled, bamboo. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, we'll do it like... Uh, huh? Huh? Back to tab. Yeah, we'll do it like this. There we go. Sir, you have got me baffled, bamboozled, scrambled, dazed. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Maybe if you had white hair, I'd think about it. It's not happening. Let me just quickly change this cry counter to 17 while I'm at it. Um. I can't even click him. Sweet boy. I I have one I have one love. I have one love. Orchon will beat up Emmett Self's guts. Yeah, and he could beat up my guts too. Isn't that right, my sweet? <laughs> Listen, listen, w was I wrong? Was I wrong? Okay, wait, what's this clip? What, what, <laughs> okay, what did, what did Vlad get? Hold on, what is this? What is this? Satisfied? Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no. I can't even, I can't even watch this. I can't, I can't even watch it. I can't even, I, you know what? I can't, I can't, I can't go through this. I can't, oh my God. I'm so embarrassed, John, I'm so fucking embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, are we at 81 technically? I don't know if I, did I count Elder Bussy's, Elder Bussy making me cry? 
Did I count it? <gasps> Zeus, hello! Elidibus was 80? Okay, Elidibus was 80. Hello! Hello! Oh my god, there's a wild Nissan picking picking little plants. Oh my god, can I get a, can I get a robe too? Am I gonna be able to get a robe too? I want one! I want one! How do I get one? This is hardly my first time here, but the scenery never fails to take my breath away. Why, it feels as if you could reach out and touch the heavens. Now then, to begin our guided tour. Perhaps you already know these things, but for the sake of thoroughness, I shall start with the basics. Using concepts to give shape to ether, creation magics allow us to bring forth anything we desire, be it inanimate objects or living beings. Oh, wait, does that mean, does that mean I can bring back my boy? Yo, I need a, I need a, to get, hold on real quick. I need to get a pin for my other ear. I think I lost it in the madness um, because my ear keeps like slipping down and we don't want sad pepper ears for the entire stream. So give me one second. Oh, also like on that note, I also have to pee. So I'll quickly leave y'all very quickly with this.
Hello. Hello, chat. I'm back. Oh, wait, wrong thing. Hello. <laughs> what was that poop sound? I am poop, I am pee. There's only piss coming out of me, okay? I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready, chat? Did you have a smoke? No, I went to piss. True, my ass can piss. Brown pee pee. <laughs> nope. I just... Fuck. Adjusting my ears is so difficult. I took a piss in El Piss. I took a piss in El Piss. I told Avicii, I told Hithlodeus I was cool. Alright, I'm good now. Alright, using concepts to give shape to ether, certain magics allow us to bring forth anything we desire, be it inanimate objects or living beings. Anyone may conceive concepts, but they must all undergo evaluation at the Bureau of the Architect. I hear my voice. As part of that process, living beings and certain arcane entities may be sent here to Elpis for in-depth observation and study. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> A fascinating facility, isn't it? I dare say you will enjoy touring it with us. This is so cool. This is so fucking cool. This is so fucking cool. So this entire place is Elpis? Like, what's Amarot? Like, what? Hello, Genesis! Hello! And Bishop is here, too. So Larry, put your fucking clothes on. Hello, Jaguar! Hello, B! I get a gift! Petaluda Hunt. Little Days is looking you up and down. Oh, are you? Now then, our friend Hermes. Now then, our friend Hermes. Aside from overseeing the facility, he also conducts his own research. Chances are, he will be at the main observation hub. So let us seek him out there first. Tired as you are, <gasps> however, you stand a little too much. Our dear Emmett Selk wishes to keep a low profile for his errand, so you know how to make a robe. The basic concept will do. Mm -mm. No, in that case, Emmett Selk, no, your whim, your responsibility. You're getting not another thimble of ether out of me. <sighs> the way he scrimps sometimes, you think he wasn't an eye bottomless font of magic. Very well. I shall make the robe, but perhaps you can assist. Come. Let us search for the requisite material. Okay. We're gonna go material hunting here. And I guess this is my chance to, like, actually explore, too. Ah! What the fuck are these? Can I kill these? Not the wind-up worship font. I can. Ophion. What is an Ophion? Look at the butterfly. It's huge. Can I... I can't... Ionthene Petaluda. Oh god, is chasing me. Oh god. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, it's kind of beefy. This is so fucking cool. Look at it. Pyrex spit? Yo! That was dope. Oh fuck. Okay, there's another one. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me knock him out. Let me knock him out. Oh, this is so cool. The butterflies are so pretty. They're different kinds. Cayenne? Hello. Under this big tree. What what are what are we gonna gather here? Yes, these creatures should suffice. The, the butterflies? Oh. An etheric rope. I want you to use it to capture, shall we say, two petaludi. There are three species here, I believe. Any two different kinds should serve. Now, I should mention the strength of the rope is tied. <laughs> no pun intended. The strength of its of its user. As the ether is still thin compared to us, to ours. You need to weaken the petaludi first. Good luck. Oh, hold on. Orshifant flirting with me? And to think, paradise could be improved by you, <laughs> by having you here. Oh, Orshi, my boy, my boy. <laughs> oh, what cat boy is this? Hello, Nex. Who's Nex? Bye, Kylasa. Bye. Who this? Who 
this? <gasps> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I see an orange one. So they want me to capture two? <laughs> Ta -da! So they want they want me to capture two of the butterflies, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me let me lower the HP. I want this one and I want the red one. I can't I can't even reach it. Okay, there we go. Okay, just do my my little itty bitty rotation. Did it work? Nice. Alright, let's get a <laughs> Yes! Hype me up! Hype me up! Okay, let's get this red one. Okay, use key item, etheric rope. Nice! I got two butterflies! You see that? I got two! I got two! Get this guy away from me! <laughs> oh! There's a Charlemagne! How'd you get up there? How did, Char how did Charles get up there? Hello! I blow keys! I blow keys! Smooch. <laughs> am, I, am I gonna get one back? Is Larry here to yell at me? Are you gonna yell at me? Your coat is white. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I like the look of the black ones, though. It's very sleek. Oh, I want one. Oh, flying mount. Oh, yeah, you could fly. I guess, yeah, flying... Flying would make sense. Yeah, hopping on a mount would absolutely make sense. Good thing I can fucking fly too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh. I want one of these. I want one. I want one of these robes like in real life. I want to wear one. I should get one. I should get one for my streams. <laughs> you got the petaludi. Come, come. Let us see. Here you go, you butterflies. Yes, these fine fellows will do nicely. And now for a spot of reversion. There, it's ready. It's nothing fancy, but then we're not trying. But then we're trying not to stand out. Try not for size. You turn living beings into clothing, just like that. Doesn't that be airy with us reading those creatures? Uh, yeah, we'll go with the top one. Well, not just like that. You need to revert them to their constitute, constituent, constituent to ether first. Lest you wonder why I asked for two species, it is due to the difference in their etheric balance. Blending them allows us to produce garb with superior etheric stability. Well and good to disguise and educate it, but it won't fool anyone who can see worth a damn. Fair point, but at the very least, it should spare you unwanted attention from casual observers. <laughs> what does that mean? Why is he trying to be all hidden? Emmett Selk speaks true. Even dressed like us, your unusual nature will be plain to those who, uh, who think to look. Should someone question your presence, don't make up excuses, much less try to explain what you actually are. No, best to simply say that you are familiar. The question is whose? Am I gonna be am I gonna be Emmett's familiar? <sighs> of course. Asms. Oh god. Asms. If you say you belong to her, people will give you the benefit of the doubt for any and all outlandish behaviour. What does that mean? Exploiting our associates' absence. Oh sorry, exploiting our associates absence. For lack of a presence, absolutely. Were she here, she'd have been the first to propose the idea, and you know it. Well, where the fuck is she? With that, you start. Wait, that. W Wait. That white haired woman was Heidelin, though. Unless. Unless. The gears are turning. With that, your story is settled. Let us continue with our errand. Oh, I have pants and boots too! I've got pants! And I've got boots! Yeah, they got me decked out, yeah? Alright. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark! Okay. Um, 
Can I glam it or do I have to like wear it, wear it? I mean like, I didn't get gloves, right? No, I didn't. I'll take that off though. Um, I think I got bottoms. This one? Those ones? I think it's, yeah. And then my feet. What is going on my feet? Where is it? Is it this? I think it's that. Nice. Yes. Nice. 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 Look. I don't think you have to wear it so glam works. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm fucking wearing it. You know what? I'm, fu I'm, fuck I'm fucking wearing it. I'm fucking wearing it. Okay? Is that a hot chocolate? Is what a hot chocolate? Is what a hot chocolate? What did I miss? Did I miss a hot chocky? <laughs> they wear skirts with leggings. I want to see Emma in a skirt. Yay! Yay! I look so cute! Look, I blend in now! I'm one of y'all! With my little red bow! With my little red bow! Look at my little red bow. I look so cute. Can I dye it? Do I have any dye on me? Oh, shit. Do I, do I have any dye on me? I have white dye on me. Oh, I don't like that. I have red dye on me. Oh, I don't like that either. I have brown dye on me. Oh, I kind of like the brown. Oh, the purple looks good too. Oh. Wait. Wait. Wait, the purple's kind of cute, chat. Purple's kind of cute. You like? Orshman, do you like it? I think the purple's kind of dandy. <laughs> Orshman. Or, I'm sorry. Emmett, dress, dress like us. Blend in. Pepper. I make it purple. I make it purple. It looks really pretty, but but like the brown looks really good too. I think I might go with the brown. Oh, new coven robes! Oh my god, new coven robes, you're so right, you're so right. Should I do brown or purple chat? Brown or purple? I like how both look. I think the brown looks like really pretty. Like I would fucking wear that. But I feel like I should do purple for the sake of like our coven. You know? Purple? Y'all are saying purple? Okay, we'll go back to the purple. Which one, though? The gloom purple, which is our coven's purple? <laughs> I believe the purple is quite your color. Or this one? Which one? Gloom? Grape? The grape looks really nice. But the gloom. The gloom is the gloom is like our like our, our brand. You know? I personally use the grape. I do like the grape. I do do like the grape. Okay. I think... I think we're gonna use the grape. We're gonna use the grape. While the gloom is really cute, we'll just use the grape. Okay. In search of Hermes. Oh my god, this is so fucking pretty, chat. Hesla Deus is ready to continue on if you are. If you are ready, let us continue along the path to Anagnorisus. Agnorisus. The place serves as an observation hub and residence, both. Someone there should be able to point us in the direction of Hermes. <laughs> I appreciate the the ride, but I'm going to explore. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, look at the sky. Oh my goodness. It's so lush. I can see why they they wanted to restore this so badly. Holy fuck, Amarat did not do this place any fucking justice. I'm going to say that. Oh, look at the lights. Is that a fucking unicorn? I think I have that as a mount. Or something similar. Look at the topiary. 
Oh, it's so goddamn pretty. Look at the flowers! The flowers! Oh my goodness. It's huge here! There's so many, so many landmarks too. I love it. Found an observer. Let's talk to Emma and Hesodeus. I was wondering what she was examining, but it seems to be the bush itself. Let's see if this observer knows Hermes' whereabouts. Yes? Can I help you? We wish to speak with Chief Hermes. Do you know where we might find him? What the fuck is that thing behind her? Well, now, by your mask, I assume you're one of the 14. I wasn't aware there was to be a visitation. Between you and us, it's something of a surprise. Your discretion in the matter would be appreciated. I see, I see. My lips are sealed. The chief should be out conducting observations as usual. His focus of late has been aquatic creatures, so I expect you will find him at one of the pools here. The pools, you say? Many thanks, and apologies for disrupting your work. I say, Hithlidaeus, while I've never met Hermes, you know him well, do you not? That being the case, couldn't you simply find him by his ether? I that I could. <laughs> As you know, Emmett Selk and I discern the colour of souls. By the same token, we can also see ether quite keenly, and from great distances. Oh my god, like Ishtola! <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> With this skill, I could readily locate Hermes, but I felt that it would be a waste of an opportunity. We're here to perform an assessment, after all. By searching the ordinary way, we stand to gain insight into Elpis and the man in charge of it. This is as much for your enjoyment like as not, but point taken. If you're going to accompany, if you're going to accompany us, make yourself useful and help us look for Hermes. According to his profile, he has short dark hair. I saw a man with short dark hair over there. So you know, it's because we're an Elpis that we don't have our cowls up. A special exemption due to the need of the, due to the need to be aware of dangerous creatures. Elsewhere, we do not exhibit our individuality. It's unseemly. Oh. Interesting. This is all common sense, but I would not assume you possess any. Okay, Emmett. Alright, alright. The negging has begun. <laughs> it's a rare treat, indeed, to be able to, to search for someone by their appearance, and I thank you for humoring me. Come, let's find our man. <laughs> alright, time to look for a short, black-haired man. Alright, I saw, yeah, I saw this person. This is Callius. So this is definitely not them. So much to do, so much bother involved in getting it done. I could have a familiar perform my duties instead, but even creating one in the first place is far more effort than I'm willing to expend. Did you see someone with short black hair? Yeah, it's not this guy. It's not him. I know. I checked. Alright. Oh, according to the map, it should be somewhere over here. And there's Leo. Uh, you know... What do you have to say? You're looking at a unicorn! My, what curious familiar. <laughs> I suppose your creator sent you here to learn our ways. And perhaps achieve some degree of enlightenment. So, what would you ask of me? Um, tell me about yourself. Like most of my colleagues here at Anagnorisus, I am charged with observing the various creations in our care and assessing their suitability for life on Aetherius. A unicorn, just like in the tales of House for Tom. Oh. oh my god, that's so true. Oh my god, wait, is there a sigil? Oh, or she. It's enormous responsibility, of course, so the sense of achievement from bringing new species into the world makes it all worthwhile. Okay. Let's see. Oh, by water. They said that he'd be by water. Let's see. Was he the one with the little bird person? That would make this so much easier. And he was like creating things. Paramonas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that a teeny, teeny, tiny one? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so small! Oh my god, chat, it's so tiny! It's so tiny! Oh my god, it's an itty bitty unicorn flying around! Oh my goodness! <laughs> amazing, fucking amazing. 
amazing. Okay, let's see. He said he'd be by water. Oh! Oh, bewinged girl. Well, there's a Manalane in the pool. There he is, Hermes. With the axolotl. Oh, was he making axolotl? I just want to be voiced. I assume so. Ah, you are. What are oh. you? What is she? <laughs> oh. Different. You're different too. Is she a familiar? You and me. We're alike. Or is it because I'm a cat? I want to be. And she's a bird. <laughs> wait, please, wait. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, her eyelashes. Oh my Greetings god. Greetings and salutations. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I wish only to hear your words, share your feelings, and know your thoughts. May we please? Be friends. Absolutely. A new daughter for Pepper to adopt? May we please be friends? Yes. Oh, Just like the orphanage, Pepper out here collecting you. kids. It's Ladeus. It's been a while. Too long, I think. Too long indeed for close collaborators. On this blessed occasion, I bring not only myself, but others who long to speak with you. You are of the convocation. He's of importance. Emmet Selk at your service. Do I have the honor of addressing Hermes, Chief Overseer of Elpis? You do. You have traveled far for it. Given your facility's purpose, its remote location is something of a necessity. Would that I didn't have to rely upon a guide. Oh, you wound me. Have I not ever been an attentive and helpful friend? Oh, I love them. Oh, I love their dynamic. But moving along to more agreeable company, this one we chance to... Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, you certainly have her attention. Is she oh, one of yours, so Hermes? so cute. Her name is Meteon. Meteon. It means shooting star. Oh, like meteor. Meteon. Meteon. Hmm. If I may make an observation, her ether is terribly thin. Oh. I fear she might dissipate at any moment. No. Hey, yo, Emmett, give her some of your Nor juice. Nor do I believe you've made a submission to the Bureau. I would remember such a concept if you had. I haven't, as you say. I judged it too early. She's a pet project of mine, still undergoing preliminary testing. Pet project. But rest assured that I will attend in person ere long. Is Hermes hot? Very well. Being an authority on flying life forms, I appreciate that you are exacting in your work. Tall, dark, and handsome. I shall Sign look forward to your submission. Sign me up. If we have finished with the perfunctory chit chat, I would discuss official matters. By my coming, I trust you already anticipate the subject. By his coming? <laughs> Not the smiles. <laughs> I have an inkling, yes. Please wait to the main building yonder. I shall join you as soon as I've returned these creatures to their homes. Yo, his neck! 
What's wrong, Hermes? The Nemistoma is missing. <gasps> Someone took a boogie? Someone took one of the little boogies? Hmm. I may have found it. A creature with the self-same ether as those there, nestled in the boughs of a tree outside the grounds. You're saying they can climb with their sorry excuses for limbs? He's so mean! The fashion has been to imbue aquatic creatures with the power of flight. Ever since the words of Mitron created a sky swimming fish. Stop! The Ambistomas too can fly, if only slightly. And they could conceivably climb a tree. Whether they can come down safely, however. Oh man. Excuse me. They're like little cats. <laughs> Save the axolotl, Hermes! I'll help. Oh too! <laughs> and what are we supposed to do with this lot? <laughs> They're so cute. Lighten up. <laughs> May I suggest we split up? If you would be so good as to assist Hermes, Emmett Selk and I shall keep an eye on these adorable creations in the meantime. Hmm. <laughs> They're so cute. The axolotl was voted the number one Final Fantasy XIV character by Chinese audiences. Are you serious? Like, actually? Oh, just two brothers catching up, having a good old time. Oh, they're in a cutscene too. Slay. <gasps> Hello, Leo. Hello, Leo. It's nice to see you, Leo. Nice earrings, bro. Pop off. Pop off, King. All right. Oh, whoa. Bird of Elpis. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, first let's go find these axolotl guys. Oh, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I don't want to have to kill you. I don't want to have to kill you. Oh, did my, my controller just, just yeeted? Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ah, wrong button, wrong button. I went first stunning. Stream lagged? Are we okay? Is stream okay? Are we DCing? Are we okay? We're fine? Okay, good. Go, 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 good. Adventurous axolotl embistumba da bumba. Ah, oh, my boob is itchy. Okay. Oh my god, it's so tiny. It's so fucking small. It seems Hermes and Meteon have found their quarry, a creature known in this age as embistoma. <laughs> Hello, Orshi. Yet though it has been safely extricated from the tree, Hermes appears to have found himself in quite the predicament. Oh, is he? Ah. that how did you possibly manage that oh do i have to go fucking same hermes now yeah it seems like he is in quite the conundrum in search of hermes indeed then bestoma hermes saw it up the tree he climbed to get it but it jumped on him and he slipped <sighs> do you need a hand everything's under control i trust <laughs> yeah everything is under control i trust Ugh, yes, rest assured this is nothing new to me. I've ended up in far more compromising positions. I've ended up in far more compromising positions in the course of my work. What do you mean by that, Hermes? <laughs> now for your own safety, please stand back. <laughs> Oi. That sounded like it hurt. Oh, jeez. Ugh. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> Hermes, are you all right? Quite all right, yes. My apologies for making you worry, Meteon. Both you and, uh... Peppermint, you are called? It's an intriguing name. Something reminiscent of a new creation. Thank you for coming after me. Look at the little spooby dooby dooby. Scoop him up. Oh, as for you, little one, you must be more careful. Oh my god, look at him! He's so cute! Ah! You may be able to fly, but doesn't mean you cannot fall and hurt yourself. Dot, dot, dot. Oh no! I've forgotten all about its fellows! <laughs> Hermes, it's okay! Emmet and Hithlodeus are looking after them! <laughs> Truly! What a relief! I must thank Emmet Salkin and Hithlodeus when I return to them. But first, with the distractions out of the way. As Chief Overseer of Elpis, permit me to welcome you to our facility. I hope you will enjoy your time here. A demand a panda. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I missed one from Piece of Shit. Thank you for the 25 month resub. And Dentist, thank you for the 50 month resub or $50 donation. Oh my god. Thank you. Fuck, I missed those. Can I, can I talk to the little dude? Am I talking outside? The ambistoma stares at you unflinchingly, as if regarding something novel. Regarding it in turn, you notice that it appears to be floating, if ever so slightly. Oh. Oh, it is! So what do you think of Emmett and Emmett and Hithlo? Well, Hithlodeus is baby girl. Hithlodeus is already giving me baby girl vibes, and I'm absolutely here for it. Um, and we all know how I feel about Emmett. Roll the clip! <laughs> uh, I mean, I love Emmett. I love him. I love him even more now. Honestly. Um, I'm upset that he has white hair. I'm actually really upset that he has white hair. Because I have no excuse now. I have zero excuse. I can simp for him. I can officially simp for that beautiful man. But I'm more intrigued about Hermes, honestly. I want to learn more about her. Blah, blah, blah. I want to learn more about him. Fuck. I'm glad this safe. Hermes in the Ambistoma. <laughs> Wander... Or ponder, warrant, cherish, welcome. Having found the wayward Ambistoma, Hermes is the picture of relief. Well, we mustn't keep the others waiting. Let us return to Anagnorisis. They are adorable. They are very cute. I love the little guys. And I want one. I want a little dude. I shall take my leave. It was a joy to see you again, Pepper. It was a joy to see you again, too. Or Shafan, thank you for accompanying me. I appreciate it. <laughs> I got a doubt. Hey. Pip pip cheerio, brethren. I must go. Did I did I oh I did I I don't know if I attuned I did not attune to the Agnoris. I don't even think I saw it yet. Why are you awake, Devin? Because MSQ has me in a in a chokehold. No more errant creations to distract us from matters of actual importance, I trust. <laughs> My apologies for the trouble. Owing to your kind assistance, all the Ambistomas are safe and welcome. And well, I will presently send them back to their space if you would go on ahead to the main building. Upon entering, you will see a table and chairs, a meeting area. You may speak there. Very well. Take care not to let the creature slip away again. Slay. And then I can attune. Oh, I can attune here. <laughs> what, this is not simply pause Final Fantasy XIV in Elpis? Man, it is 12.30 though. We will be hopping off eventually. At some point. But just normal men. Oh, there's a Yosef over there. Slay. Oh, or she? You're still here? Is everything alright? 
I was just about to remind you to a tune. Well, it would look, it would, it would appear as though I beat you to it. <laughs> oh, my neck. He is pondering the uh, pond. <laughs> oh, bye, Orshi. Everyone say bye, Orshi font. Good night, Nissan. Sleep. That's one way to disappear. <laughs> Memnon? Memnon, Memnon. Oh, I like your hair. And what have we here? I just a baby. I just a baby. Hello, Alsara. Isara, oh my God, this is just my name. This is my name, but like a massive typo. This is, um, this is just my name, but a typo in typo form. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I decided to open a shop to keep my little creation fed. My wondrous wares can be yours for the right amount of bicolor gemstones. Lit. Oh shit. Bird of Elpis breast, egg of Elpis. Yo, give me some titty. Give me some tibbles. <laughs> Dyslexic typing your name, literally. Me trying to spill anything. <gasps> Hello, I'm on Orthos break. How are we liking the Elpis? I'm loving it. It is so fucking beautiful. It is so pretty, L. Look at my look at my robe. It's purple. You gotta farm fates for that. Oh, I know. I know how the gemstones work. I just like I hate seeing the exclamation mark. <laughs> Open a opening a brush shop to feed your pet. Too real. <laughs> Call that only Elpis. Only piss. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. No. We're not calling it that. No. <laughs> this appears to be the place. And here is where we part ways. We will be discussing highly sensitive affairs. Only a select few may be privy to such knowledge, and that does not include someone who cannot or will not divulge their origins. Oh, she's making the what? same face. Will I have to remove you by force? Oh, mm, 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 no. And the smirk and the... <sighs> ha! Mm, he... Mm, mm. Did you see that fucking smirk on his face? <sighs> Emmett. Emmett. Oh, Emmett, Emmett, Emmett. Oh, oh, Emmett. Oh, Emmett, 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 Emmett. Emito. Emito. Oh, Emito. Oh, Emito, my little Emito. You do not know who the fuck you're messing with. You do not know who this fucking brat is, okay? Important things to say to him as well. There are reasons I cannot speak freely. Pepper will go with the first one. Yes, I'm sure your business with Hermes is quite pressing. You may speak with him to your heart's content after ours is concluded. Don't raise your voice at me. Oh, she looks so sad. I do not object to her attendance. Uh, fuck you. Hermes, fuck you. this is highly irregular. Too bad. Perhaps. But I believe she can be trusted. Meteon would not have taken to her so quickly otherwise. Mm-hmm. The bird likes me, bitch. Moreover, the presence of a third party may help me to maintain composure. What does that mean? <laughs> <sighs> As you wish, then. Oh, the music is Behave so good. Behave yourself. Do you hear? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or what? Or what, Emmett? You're gonna put me over your knee and spank me? Bet! Put me in my place. See what fucking happens. 
So, it's finally happened, then. Aye. Van Daniel has declared his intention to step down, and named you as his preferred successor. In recognition of your knowledge and your works, the Convocation is giving the recommendation due consideration. As one who does not know you personally, I am to use my impartial eye to take your measure. And above all else, to ascertain your disposition towards the invitation. I understand that you and Van Daniel are close. He himself was once chief overseer of Elpis, after all. I should not be surprised if you knew before anyone else that he wished to relinquish his office. I did. He told me that when he fulfilled his purpose, he wished to pass the torch to me. A torch you seem none too pleased to accept. Are you so averse to serving on the convocation? No, it's not that. For a humble researcher like myself to even be considered is an honor beyond words. No. What troubles me, what I struggle to come to terms with, is the very fact that Van Daniel is stepping down. Mm. Does this not mean that he will return to the star? Mm. Of his own volition, yes like so many others have before him. Return to the star? Does that mean... die? Well now, that's not a word I hear often. <laughs> Is that what you say here in Elpis? Mankind is the life of Atheris. Each of us, a drop of blood, flowing through its veins, bearing sustenance. In our finite time upon it, tis our duty to make it a better place, that all who call it home, now and in future, may abide in happiness. To that end, we have dedicated ourselves to the pursuit of enlightened creation, and by our efforts did we transform this once untamed wilderness into the peaceful paradise you enjoy today. To return to the star whence we came is a privilege afforded to we who have so loved and nurtured it. A choice embraced by those who have lived their lives to the fullest, in service to our world. And when they depart upon this journey, it is beautiful, always. The Fourteen are no exception. Tis believed no occasion is more felicitous than the fulfillment of one's duty. Our office becomes our lives, and to retire is to return, or so the majority of us hold. Some few have elected to eschew custom. Mayhap you feel Van Daniel's deeds do not warrant his return. Yet you should know his accomplishments as well as any. During his time, he conceived of countless outstanding concepts. And channeling the wealth of experience he attained here in Elpis, he brought forth many new specimens. I know of all this. I do. It's just... I cannot fathom why someone so great and wise who could still do so much good, would want to end it all. Well, there's so much irony in that. Why is she getting uncomfortable? Oh no, I've made her upset. Oh. Forgive me, I know I requested your presence. Might I trouble you to take me to your outside? A change of scenery would do her good. It's babysitting time. It's babysitting time. <laughs> Poor baby.
baby. Poor baby. We've upset the child. Oh, man. Alright, let me speak with these guys real quick. Forgive me. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Oh. Don't mind us, my friend. Please tend to meet you on- My friend?! Most would jump at the chance to serve in the convocation. And yet... I'm not trying to taunt the, the baby bird! I, I feel bad! I'm sorry, Pepper. I didn't want- I didn't mean... A walk? Perhaps we can go for a walk. Uh, I can't go through that door. Uh, do I go through this one? I do Ooh, wait, what's upstairs? Can I go upstairs? Can I snoop? Oh, hello. Okay, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> Leads to nowhere. Hello, Meteon. I always get sad when he thinks about death. When others are sad, I'm sad too. That's how I am. How he made me. But don't worry, I'm fine now. Like the flower? Like the Elpis flower? Oops. Hmm. Interesting. 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 So, why did you come here? Interesting. Hmm. You want to learn about Elpis and Hermes? Oh, oh, teach you. I can teach you. We can take turns. I tell you something and then you tell me something. Sounds like fun. Almost punch this kid in the face. It will be. It will be. I'm um, where to start. Ah, yes. Let's talk to Memnon. He should be near the etherite. I'm not good at explaining what Memnon is. So I'll have him explain instead. Meteon is now accompanying you. Alrighty. Got a little baby with me. But, unfortunately, chat, this is where I'm going to call it. I want to continue this. I really want to continue this, but I can feel myself getting sleepy. And unfortunately, that means I will not be able to follow MSQ much further. Um, and I want, I want to be able to, to focus on, on everything happening and not like, you know, accidentally miss anything. We did another 420 stream. Oh my God. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? We will be back tomorrow, though, chat. So do not forget that. I will be playing more Endwalker tomorrow at 7 p.m., maybe 8 p.m. if I'm a little bit late again. So don't worry. We're going to continue exploring Elpis and learning about Hermes. <coughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. I'm so fucking sorry for burping. Holy shit. Oh, that was... That was so much fun. That was so good. That was... That was so good. I I don't even know what to say. I truly don't. Um, I think once I process all the events of FF14 tonight, um, I'll be able to, to tell y'all how I feel tomorrow. But wow. This story, the end, the story for Endwalker is honestly... The, the writing in this game has gotten just so much better. Like, I, like going from... Heaven's Ward to Stormblood to Shadowbringers to Endwalker, I can just like, I can feel the difference. Do you know what I mean? Heaven's Ward was great. Heaven's Ward, I think, was beautiful because, you know, you're comparing it to A Realm Reborn, right? And then Stormblood falls so flat because it's like, well, Heaven's Ward was great. So it just kind of feels like you go back to the narrative telling that A Realm Reborn had. But then Shadowbringers, well, yeah, post Stormblood was good. So yeah, post Stormblood. To now, man, man, it's so good. It is very fluid. It's very fluid and it's a lot easier to follow. And what I'm noticing too, obviously now because we're in the fourth X pack of this game, I'm noticing that a lot of themes are very repetitive, but in the, but in the, in, in a way where it's like different variations that reflect one another which make the game so easy to follow, but also gut-wrenching. Because you're like, oh, that reminds me of this. Oh, that reminds me of that. You know, like, it, it's very, very good. I can't believe we're in Elpis right now. Like, this is so cool. I really want to explore more, but 
We're gonna save that for tomorrow. Maybe like the beginning of tomorrow's streams. Yeah, reinforcing themes, yeah. Oh man, so good. It's so good. I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. And it's so cute seeing some of y'all like pop in and run around with me. Love it. The Orshvan role player kills me. Because whenever he's running around with me and my little guy is right there, I just there's just two Orshvans running behind me. It's so funny. But this is where we're calling it. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun playing Endwalker and I'm very excited to play some more tomorrow. Don't forget to follow me on social media and join the Discord server that we can get notified for whenever I go live. I'll be live literally in... 19 hours so i'll see you soon we're gonna be raiding sarah tonight she's playing genshin impact and she's got some drops on so if you're if you're into genshin get some goodies let's tell her let's tell her where we are let's tell her we've made it to elpis i want to see what she says but yeah i'll see you all tomorrow bye sleep well take care and also we're so we're 60 away from 666 it's like <laughs>